Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Uh, heading into cruising, I should say, into drifting into the post game for Armored Core Nexus. I have a guide here. And do you want to? Yeah. Oops, not that one. You guys want to hear something funny? So it was clear to me upon unlocking the mission list that there were a number of missions that had special uh, scenarios to be unlocked, right? There's locked missions in that list. But I thought, whatever. Surely all the requirements are probably around clearing stages, right? They give you a hard level and you clear it and then you unlock another harder level. So I was like, okay, I just have to get better. I have to get good. And then another assumption followed, which was that any of those locked levels are probably going to be further into the game. Let me tell you, both those assumptions were incorrect. There are locked levels behind the first couple of levels, and they involve losing those levels. That's how you get to them. So I've already lost. <laughs> I've already skipped them. I can't unlock them. I have to play through the story again. But that's fine. There's more to unlock, and it's right at the beginning too. So really, it's just like one playthrough. Uh, it just wraps around. So that's fun. Uh, also, this stream is sponsored. Today's stream is sponsored by Ipsos I Say. It's a survey uh, service. You can fill out surveys for points and redeem those points for rewards. Like Starbucks gift cards or just deposits. I think PayPal money. Yeah. You can just get stacks of cash by telling companies how to market to you. I've always been a proponent of, like, you can have my data, but you got to give me something for it. So, you can turn your uh, purchasing intent into money that you can then use to purchase things with. <laughs> so check it out. It's free. We're sponsoring the stream today. Core Nexus. Mm, God, that's the coolest title read. Resident Evil has some top tier ones, but that is awesome. Like, Resident Evils are good, but they have to be spooky. This is just like a fuck yeah, armored killer. And it's it's exactly when the series got as like cool as it's ever been. The music is is peeking out. The controls are are real nice. Everything's great. Made money answering questionnaires and then got a PayPal gift card. Yeah, they have Amazon on there. You got to do some profiling surveys first. And that takes like maybe 10 minutes. And then I took a survey that took like 10 minutes and I got 75 points for it. So that's the exchange rate, at least for my ability to answer surveys. Now here, okay, let me check the, um, let me check the mission list here. Okay, so I'm gonna guess so the mission, okay, so there are missions that are sealed. The guide says they're sealed. That means they don't even appear in the mission list. Unknown, maybe they take the place of unknowns. They're just out of order or something. Because I'm trying to correlate it with this mission list over here. This is going to take a while for me to find my bearing and kind of acquaint myself with. Let's see here. Destroy support spots. Okay, so if that's the next one. There's two different eliminate base attackers. Yeah, they have different rewards. How do you... <sighs> Gonna get the secret parts as well? No. No. I mm, I could see there being value in that if like the secret parts are kind of goofy or weird. Having funky guns or melees or, or boosters would be interesting to play around with. But kind of, I just want to see, I want to see the game's content. But I'm starting to question how much effort this is going to be. Trying to find all of these various hidden missions. Because yeah, a lot of them, some of them don't even appear on the list until you get to them. Well, I just missed a few. Maybe I'll just pick it up from where I'm at and try to 
see how it works. So there's some missions you can't get to in mission select. You'll have to get to them in regular story mode. Yeah, I, th I think I'm putting that together that they don't even show up in mission select, but then there's also ones that show up in mission select and are locked. So I'm just trying to, let's, I'm just trying to figure out. So if they show up, I'm not listed as sealed. Okay. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Secret parts in disc two are better anyway, and most rewards are for doing well in missions. Okay, yeah, getting S ranks. I don't really, yeah, I don't need to, I'm on a timetable, a loose one, but a timetable nonetheless. I didn't even think about the other disc. I don't know how, how uh, complicated it is to see what there is to see. Plus if they're, well, I wanna take a spin around that disc, but since I've just played everything, it may not be worth it. Okay, let me see here. What missions are on the map right now? Okay, attack supply convoy. Wait a minute. I think that's a hidden one. Oh. oh, okay, that's the one I've already done, right? So there's, wait, retest. Yeah, I haven't done that one, but it's new, so I can probably wait, wait a turn for it. Jeez, okay, that's one of the unknowns. And then, <laughs> let me need Navis security. Okay, that one's, pr I probably have in the mission list. Yeah, okay. All right. So I should do this. Yes, this is the one after Silent Line, but it's awesome. Do not let transports bypass the region. I feel like I have a good build for this. Sniper rifle seems to seems to be the all-purpose key. Oh, Zolt Zane, yeah. I saw that briefly on social media. The Xbox pizza-scented controller. I was just thinking about that. There were a lot of pizza scented things in the 90s, so that actually kind of adds up. Pretty cool. Pretty cool marketing thing. Yeah, I did Silent Line. I remember this mission, though. Yeah, n haven't done last raid yet. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. You think the next game's kind of boring? Is it the training one? AC's looking pretty rad. Kind of, yeah, right? That's the other thing about this game is the more I've tuned my AC, the cooler it's looked. As opposed to looking like some kind of monstrous ball with guns poking out of it. Okay, now let's see if uh, Attack Convoy shows up in the mission list. It does not. What? That's weird. Oh, so the, okay. So even after you play them, they don't show up. They just show up on the map and that's it. Wow. Why are you like this from somewhere? Yeah, the retest is, I think, what I need to do. Attack in. Wait, attack in T is also a sealed one. Damn it. Attack MT transport convoy. Hey, PC. I am enjoying Nexus a lot. This game rules.
Mind Breakers next. Yes. That's the first one with proper analog controls, and it's heaven. It's so obvious the game is trying to be a particular thing and it just can't with the control scheme that it had before. Thinking about this game with a mouse look is a hell of a thing. But I don't... I, yeah, I'm, I'm so fascinated about how they're going to handle mouse look, or if they're going to. It'll probably be a God of War PC kind of thing, where it's lerped. <laughs> Love that word. I'll never, I'll never not like saying lerp. Objective achieved. Started with this one a month or so ago, and it was immediately my favorite. Yeah, God, the music just kicks. It's so good. If somebody did want to play this series, uh, like academically, this one would be the one to start with, I think. Unless the unless you just really have a tolerance for old games. Yeah, Silent Line was also mean. Silent Line's a mean game. All right, well. I didn't have a security. So, but that has a number in the mission list now on the guide. So what's that all about? Yeah, it's not there. Attack MT support convoy. It's not like it was the most profound mission though. Oh, that's true, uh, Captain. It is a pretty complicated game to start with because on top of all the mechanical complexity of old armored cores, now ECM is more of a pronounced thing. Heat is more of a thing. Even energy draw, I noticed, like they've they've made the stats that didn't matter so much in the previous armored core games really bite now. Cause I guess they're trying to they're they're I guess they're trying to narrow down hmm, I don't think I had to say it. There are more statistical restrictions in this game, and you hit them in weird ways. Oh, it's like Grim Tease, you know. Yeah, Dreyfus, that might, that might be the way to do it. Um, that you can move the camera independent of the, like, turret. <laughs> I would kind of hope God of War would work like that. So at least you could look around, you could see around you, but it's part of the it's part of the design all that the camera's locked be behind Kratos. Main system engaging combat. Take off the Love this guitar so much. They're using ECMs. Watch yourself. It's really just not used at all. Which I find very odd. I guess it does, it's a very like Y2K kind of sound, but I'm kind of surprised it's not more, uh, or it doesn't show up in more random EDM tracks. I guess I don't really have my finger on the pulse of EDM though, so what am I saying? I'm afraid I have a sniper. Pew. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking it over. What it, what this might just amount to is I uh I did not know you could just go through the side. I always crossed. Um I'll probably just do one more run of the story and try to clear the missions that I couldn't clear before. Keep an eye out for the um, missions that I I don't know. I'll just do one more run of the story. And then call it there. Unless somebody unless somebody with a lot of experience with Armored Core Nexus knows that there's just some super sweet thing. 
lurking around the corner. It is, in fact, gaming time. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, this music? This is gaming music. Who's doing that? Uh. There's one on the other side, isn't there? Yes. What? Can the next whip and Nay Nay? Let's find out. Got a couple more moves. A couple more moves in the holster. That's a fun one. Let's uh yeah, let's go with this. We got a little more activity. Uh, uh, uh. God bless. Okay. Navis security has been eliminated, so now what now what's on the map? I didn't do the missile retest. Yeah, WPOT performance test. So there is a retest, and I think it's if you fail. Hold on a second. Oh boy. The uh, the information on this specific mission is look to the previous mission for some tips. I guess you you have to fail it. You have to feel fail the performance test? I don't know. I can try it. What else is on the map? Attack research facility. Okay, I'll do this mission and I'll just put the controller down. There are a couple of obvious little things that would help at this stage in the game. Marking the missions that have been attempted, marking the missions that have been cleared. That'd be nice. Alright, so I just have to let them murder me. I think. Targets are the weapons pods we will deploy. Damn, I came ready to Destroy play though. All. Look at these stupid idiots. Damn. Main system. To be Genevieve. No. Absolutely not. But how, like, in what context does beating Genevieve count? Does it have to be one of the story missions? Should I challenge him in the arena? Also, I'm a little bit afraid of that, I'm not gonna lie. From our limited encounters, it was just a nightmare. I guess I could try to stack armor and and just try to overpower him. I don't know. This build, maybe, but probably not. Danger, AP at 10%. Yeah, Empire, this... This series has a lot in common with Ace Combat. I think just specifically in the way that its Not content is structured and delivered to the, the player. Is finished. Not enough data. Just sitting there taking a nap. This is damage. Halting combat and returning to base. They still had to pay me. The retest didn't spawn right away. Oh yeah, arena fights? Alright. 
During the arena mission, you can beat him for some dialogue. Using explosives can work well, but it's a pain. Practically need to bunny hop and hope on a star he misses most of his shots. Yeah, I feel like I have a, a vision of what that's going to be like. I don't know that that's, that's going to be a fulfilling video game experience. Oh, because I'm overheating. This gets me. I'm never gonna have energy. Yeah, just getting absolutely roasted. How... How ridiculously, unfairly, impossibly difficult are some of the mechs in Armored Core 6 gonna be? Do you think from... Do you think that stuff is just... Like... They just did not have the time to properly balance anything, or they didn't care. I don't know. I wonder if those days have completely gone by. Let's see. Capture filtration or attack research. Yeah, I've done both of these. These games have a decent storyline? Eh, not yet. But they're, you know, they're PlayStation 2 games. It's all right. There's, yeah, they have plots, you know, that corporations do things. This corporation did that, and now this corporation's doing this. Uh, thematically, most of the games are about humanity diving headlong into technology it doesn't understand, and just sort of being awash in their own inability to take control of their, I guess, lust for, for resources, technology, and power. Kind of just it's transhumanist i guess at its core uh, not to mention that literally being a part of the, the plot human beings get merged with fighty robots yeah Cap yeah captain almost all the stories are future corporations are doing future corpo wars area secure so i mean if you like, if you like all that stuff, if you like micro tales of the human experience getting crushed under technology and the, the drive for expansion, that's kind of it. What do you think? Maybe one of ours? The most you get are just like whispers of Let's take a look around. of sorrow and loss, still here. and the death throes of a character going down. Oh right, okay. You'll have to take care of those ACs before we can retrieve you. That's right. Definitely didn't clear this one. There's a door? Uh, this took me forever to figure out. Cannot unlock gate. It's, it's interesting because it kind of reminds me of a lot of the, like... It always has this feeling of like Warring States era China, where it's just like everyone's warring and they try to romanticize the reasons for doing it. And every and the implication is that if anyone wins, at least the wars will stop. Then everyone else has to get in there. I guess Gundam has a lot of that too. The sadness of eternal conflict. Didn't even die. I didn't get the first that one. Damage. Halting combat. Return to base. Hmm. Gonna do Armor Core Six PvP? Uh, probably not. But like, okay. Well, I guess I know that I haven't cleared that one. 
I guess I can pick it from the list and try to try to beat it. All right, is this the retest? Yes. Okay, so this is like this is the hidden mission. I don't think nighttime combat exercise shows up in the list. Yeah. How weird. Oh wait, nighttime combat exercise would probably be there. Yeah, the... man, heat is tough. I don't know how to deal with it. Did you do the last mission already? I, I guess so. I, um... I saw credits. Even though this is only a test, we ask that you take it seriously. Main system, engaging combat. It looks like we still need more practice. Thanks for your help, Raven. You really helped us out. Mission the terrorists. Achieved. System switch to normal mode. Hello, Raven. It's me. Terrorists. Hope we can count on your help. Okay, now let's see if that shows up in the mission list. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to read this mission list in this guide here. I think it should show up. Yeah, nighttime combat exercise. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I get it now. Maybe if he's already there. Yeah, the retest. I wonder if there's different dialogue for the retest? Why even do retests? Your targets are the weapons pods we will deploy. Destroy them all. No. Begin. No new dialogue. Our last test didn't go as oh. expected. We're open for a better run this time. That's cool. That's another thing this game has done, or, or has definitely made more of an effort for, is being reactive to the outcomes of a mission. And it's surprising that it's both directions. There's, there's even, there's more reaction for failing than there is for succeeding, it seems like. Which is really interesting. is its own reward. Thank you. Bag with the controller. Thanks for the sub. Mission objective achieved. System oh, Gordon Freeman there. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for your help, pilot. You sure did rustle those doggies. But that one's not going to show up in the mission list. Because it's a phantom mission. So we'll to attack power plant. And then I guess there's a new, yeah, a new performance test. Wait, I think there's exercise AC. Never mind. Hmm. Let's attack the power plant. 
Yeah, because there's an empty performance test and retest, but I think that might be after this mission. Oh, okay. I'm going to do the mission that knocks out power to Baylor, Bayload City. That's interesting. I guess they just presume another Raven did it. Destroy all of the transfer pipes. Oh wait, no, I did this before. Yeah. Main system engaging combat. That's right. I incorrectly assumed that all these little rotating things were pipes. They are not. I should, I should get the optional parts that uh, help with energy shields. Using this more. There's still one more set. Leave me alone, dude. I'm just in here trying to recharge. Just trying to rest, relax, refill those batteries. I'm stuck under all that stuff. These turrets are starting to take it out of me. I'm trying to remember, I think it's on the left. Yeah. Oh, don't get stuck in the. God damn, those things are annoying. so long to fix this system switch to normal mode but the power was out for like the rest of the game man a lot of people probably really suffered because of that yeah what you gonna do that's war baby dun 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 so now it's the MT one yeah so if I lose the MT performance test should open up another phantom mission. give you the same chiding speech it'd be cool either way oh. MT test curious that the, curious that the camera's gonna overheat today it's a toasty one it's not as bad as it has been but it's still pretty toasty Raven we expect your best mm -hmm. oh you'll get it don't worry Begin. didn't just take five Benadryl Main system engaging combat. God, immediately overheated. Oh yeah, I for sure failed this one the first time around. Warning, AP at 50%. Danger. The data looks good. We appreciate your help. So ridiculous. And it's like, even without the heat. If you, if you did an entire build just to get rid of the heat, what are you left with? It's like, you still have to carry guns and, and kill everything and have enough armor to live because it's not like you can dodge all those hits. Man, yeah, heat, heat is a, such a thing in this game. Maybe that's how to win the AC fights, just go heavy on the heat weapons. Whatever the heck they were using, just use it myself 
so they're grounded and constantly losing health. Severity 95, thanks for the sub. I guess I'm gonna show up later. Napalm rockets. Those the uh that's the heat givers. I'll have to check those out. Oh, it's an inside. Okay. Well, that's kind of nice. That means you can just shoot it whenever. You don't have to switch to insides. Main system engaging combat. There are quite a few FTs. Proceed with caution. Hey Thornius, thank you for thank you very much for the sub. How are all the gamers doing on this fine Enemy night for gaming? Remain. Quite fine, quite fine. This game is a delight to play. I'm excited to uh, continue piddling around with it. And I guess I even have the um, got the next disc to start looking at. Mission objective achieved. System Hopefully that. Uh, I kind of hope it's just a list of missions. And even even those I may not stick around for completely because I've technically already played them all. Looking for something to play after the beating the world ends with you and its sequel. Ooh, that's tough. Those games are those games are very much kind of in a class of their own. Huh. I was gonna say the combat in Final Fantasy 16 kind of reminds me of the world ends with you. Sad smile. Is this the retest? No. I guess also if I'm getting fried by those heat weapons, I need to try to get distance and then lean on my sniper. Do the Call of Duty wiggle. Thank you very much for the sub. Woo! Smoked him. Been busy with life and shit, but the water bottle arrived safe and sound and went on a nice little hike. Awesome! Hey, look at that! <laughs> Thank you for the photos, that's very nice. Electronic Arts has seen the world. That's cool that you actually like. Do you hike normally? Or were you motivated to hike? Okay, there's the retest. And then defend Mirage Transport. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the retest. Hopefully I can just take off. Ugh. Hopefully I can like... Is there... I don't know if there are platforms. If I can like... Get high enough... Then I can use a, a platform as cover. Test units. Or maybe at least shoot one or two of them and open up part of the arena to move around in. Raven, we expect your best. Oh, okay. Begin. They're already, they're already shooting my ass. Main God! Engaging compound mode. Raven, this is the second test. 
good. Woo. We appreciate your mm, help. Mm, mm. Well, I'm kicking ass, Fitness Bok. You know I am. Mission Clearing levels. Achieved. System switch to Clearing mobile. hidden levels. So that's actually the last super hidden level, but there are a ton of... There's a pretty big smattering of, of missions that are locked out of the mission list, so... So let's see here. What's this one? Destroy keys are of course. Okay. But that's the hundred and how did there's like a cheaper version of it. I don't understand why there's two different Kisaragi forces. Let's see. Okay, I see. Yep, same thing. You have to fail the other one. It's this okay, so there's another one that's slightly different and you get less money for it you just have to fail the one before it how strange did they both show up on the mission list yeah i mean the 103 one is there wait there was one before remove city intruders Mirage Transport. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Gosh. So there's multiple classes of missions. That one is on the mission list, but I didn't play it on the story map, so... Oh, God. There's a lot to cross-check here every time, and there's multiple ways that missions can go by unplayed. So I wonder if let me test this. Let me fail this one and see if the cheaper version of it shows up on the mission list. Ah, uh, Fatherly Nick, yes. Uh, the stream is sponsored today by Ipsos, I say. A gift card survey uh, service. So, it's pretty straightforward. You tell companies how to market to you and then they give you gift cards in exchange. Amazon, PayPal. Entering target area. I did a few. Which is weird because I don't often think about consumer goods. Alright, let's hop in. Splash down. Aborting mission. Is it fake? No. It is not fake. Real gift cards for you. You can take that to the bank. Or to wherever you redeem gift cards for. Okay, so there's a uh, cheaper cheaper Kisaragi force here. So I'll do this one. Somebody said there's like two less boats and there's helicopters behind you. That's the difference. But it's a different version of the... Of the, of the service. Oh, it's unavailable in Europe? Alright. mode. Get to work. Yeah, it might be just US based. get a Raid Shadow Legends gift card, achieved. you could normal mode. redeem PayPal money and then spend that on a Raid Shadow Legends gift card if you want. That way, while you're playing Raid Shadow Legends, you can be doing surveys to buy more Raid Shadow Legends... Legends? 
That's, yeah. That's what we call passive income. That's what everybody strives for. Okay, now let me see it. Let me see if they both show up on the mission list. There's two destroy Kisaragi forces. Okay, they do. Weird. Okay, I get it now, I think. Okay. So I just have to wait for attack mirage transports to show up and then pick that mission. <laughs> exactly, Halo do that. Bank and bank, getting ass. All on a Monday. Take care around the fuel tanks. They will explode if damaged. You can take surveys and tell them about how much you love playing Raid Shadow Legends. And guess what they'll do? They're gonna hook you up with all kinds of Raid Shadow Legends adjacent products and services. They'll make your life better. The enemy is deploying their forces. Main system, engaging combat. Dream job has been whatever Bill Murray was doing in Lost in the Translation. Like being a retired spokesman. Having Japan be uh, inexplicably fascinated with you. Five targets remain. I feel like uh, there is... I feel like there's a... There must be a client out there that would be fascinated in that particular chunk of market research. No energy sources detected. Area secure. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal. They love Tommy Lee Jones for some reason. He's so surly. When I see Tommy Lee Jones in the Boss Coffee ads and the way that they like film him, he's a mascot. Like he's cute. Because he kind of is. He's just, he's just a grumpy old man. I get it. It makes sense to me. You see him performance test or living organism. I'll just do this one. I think I did them both of those already. I'm gonna keep checking. Ugh, so many unknown missions. Don't worry though, I'll, cir I'll circle back around. So, I missed that one. And then... Yeah, it's just... Okay. Main system. Engaging call. Oh, gosh, this mission. This mission is... Eliminate all targets. Raven, watch yourself in here. They've already destroyed most of the plant's defenses. Okay, I see the little bug holes now. It sounded like I was making up, you know, like a southern insult when you don't want to swear. Little bug holes! I thought you meant Groundhog Day for a second. I feel like local news person would be a, a really comfortable existence. Just the just the right amount of intensely local celebrity. Where it's like everyone's nice to you, 
and that's kind of where it ends. And maybe you get to like, target destruction. Maybe you get to swing by and do a ribbon cutting. Nice work, post bingo Raven. night. Just get to really do like to fun stuff. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. People love the weatherman at the station I work at. That's perfect. Maybe you get to like be in a TV ad for like a toy drive at Christmas. Wearing your little bow tie or something. Whatever you do, whatever your thing is. Do an ad for a local car dealership. They get you a really good rate on like a, a new Prius. <laughs> I've learned the thing in life is to like, truly you can't be so famous that people want things from you. You have to be the exact amount of famous where people like kind of want to be nice to you, but don't need you to stick around for too long. Like you start, instead of starting your interactions with everybody on a neutral or negative basis, you just kind of kick off on the right foot. They're always, they're always, they always got a smile for you. That's the exact right level of celebrity. Okay, Mirage Transports is the next locked mission. Ah, let's do the arena fight. It'd be good to practice doing more hop dodging. If I win, a, if I win arena fights, do I still get points? How does that work now? Because the arena, the arena is still like in points. Pretty freaking overheated, man. Jesus! Danger. Well, it was kind of close, but man, I guess you really, really, really have to keep them far away as possible. Like, always, always be cutting. Whew. And the second that they get in on you, the second you overheat, it's just, it's all downhill, man. It sucks. When another tale of things driving me mad while you're getting it. All right. The lawyer today asked not for a copy of the email, but the email in its original form. It's original form. I want the original email. No, no, no. That's a printout. <laughs> Law must be fun. The monorail. Because it's still like people. Is your target. People have to administer the law and understand and interpret the law. And all the research is still done by people. People have weird thoughts about everything. It's here. Main system engaging combat mode. On a rail. Back here. Oh, monorail's on my watch. <sighs> Target destruction confirmed. I did see a website where you put in your phone number and it's a slider. Mission objective achieved. Yeah, there's there's some good collections like UX horror freak show kind of things. I think there was even a competition to make the worst possible uh, interface. I think I think it was like social security and you had to like click random on each box until it was the right number. You had to like spin a wheel. <laughs> there's some pretty good trolley designs in there. Attack Mirage Transports. All right, this is one that I haven't done and don't have unlocked. Checked out Reddit Places recently. Not really, no. It's fun. 
Basically, um, I'd kind of do like a daily scroll of the front page of Reddit just to see what people are into. Got to keep current. Whoa, this is cool. Um, and there's a lot of people posting like time lapses and stuff from our place. Oh, okay. Main system. Engaging combat. Targets sighted. The skybox is really pretty. Wait until they're in range. Oh, I was just gonna start Still shooting. Ooh. No mercy, Raven. This is cool. Die so easily though. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, he didn't die. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well, whatever. Hey, Kinson. How are you doing? Go! Oh. oh, God. Ooh. Did you ever beat the main character, the guy on the game cover, in intro? Uh, Jolly Bee or whatever his name is? No. No, I did not. I don't think I. I don't think I want to. The game doesn't really seem to acknowledge it in any way. Or was it Evangel? I mean, I beat him. Yeah. Cat, I think he's. He's in. Well, I guess no. He's just in the arena. Okay. Yeah, this mission just doesn't stop, huh? Was cool. Mission objective achieved. System yeah, Jollibee is Philip Jollibee is Filipino fast food. I went to a Jollibee once. It was good. I didn't really know anything that I was eating, but it was all pretty good. I was like, hmm, these are parts of animals that first of all I don't even know the animal and I especially don't know the parts, but not bad. What does one order a Jollibee? I, I got some kind of like combo plate. It had a little bit of everything on it. Whatever the, the things were. It's like rice and I think like, um, well, triper, shredded skin, some other things. Spaghetti. Gotta have spaghetti. Oh, yeah, fried chicken. That's right. All right, so now attack Mirage transports should show up in the list. Yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of spicy ones down here, but I'm going to have to burn some missions to get there. So let's see here. Destroy remaining force.
Okay. I think this is just a, uh, yeah, it's just a mission that shows up on the map that I, uh, I have to pick when it shows up, but it's, it's a ways away. Got to play like five or six missions to just get there. Actually quite a few. Well, some of these I probably didn't clear. Let's do arena fights. Oh yeah, Evangel. This has some dialogue at least, that's fun. I've been looking forward to this day. Give it your best. Oh yeah, I'm back on the uh, Ring Fit Adventure train. Did another boss fight this morning. It's So this is kind of weird. I'm probably going to start streaming it again soon too, but I've had some like a couple of pretty intense migraines in the past couple of months. And I've been like, I got, I got really bloated after them. I've been really puffy lately, but like my body weight hasn't changed. So that's weird. I don't know what that means. But I'm hoping that uh, sweating it out, staring at Drago's big, big abs, big dragon titties. That's how to get rid of it. Nice work. I guess I have some practice things to do. What do you mean, puffy? I don't know, just puffy. Floppy. More lumpy. My body size is just like bigger. You put your heart rate on screen. Well, I mean, there's a heart rate test at the end of a Ring Fit session, so there's that. You're answering so many surveys, yeah? How many points do you have racked up? I'm kind of in now. I wanna, I wanna at least get a, like a gift card or something. Nomad is referring to Ipsos I say, the sponsor of today's stream. You can take part in research and answer some simple questions, earn gift cards and other rewards. It's free to sign up. There's a lot of gift cards to choose from. I, uh, I'm all about that. Just pay PayPal direct deposit. Enemy unit sighted. Grubhub is pretty cool too, though. I mean, it's like, no matter what you're into, you can find something. Starbucks, Target, Amazon, targets. Burger King. I've often said this, if uh, if apps and crap are going to scrape your data and harvest your info, like, they might as well pay you for it. You better get some kind of kickback. Ow. It was kind of interesting too because there, there were questions on there about the various social or i i should say rather i did a survey about how i engage with various social media platforms and it was in, interesting kind of reflecting on how much my uh my Frontline. engagement with and perception of twitter has completely shifted Because uh, I used to I used to joke about that when I was younger, but I got migraines because I was brain was too smart, too hyper intelligent, too, too high IQ. Uh, thoughts can't be contained in giant giant brain pressing on tiny tiny skull. That's kind of what it felt like though. Uh. Oh. 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 Okay, there. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm cool with that. I will accept that resol resolution of actions. Market destruction confirmed. Hmm. 
Mission objective achieved. Hey, the real boat. Normal mode. I'm doing great. I think I have a good fix on how to find the rest of the missions in this game. But this is nice. It's just kind of like non-stop action. You're in, you're out kind of missions. I got a good all-rounder build here. Targets approaching. Good music, good action. Cyberpunk Edge Runner's G Fuel in. Nice. What flavor is it? Is it just cyber? The best flavor of all? I have to eat some of these shots because if I don't, uh, where are you? There. Ooh, how many of these are there? Oh. Surprise they see at the end. Pretty sure I lost this mission very quickly the first time. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're starting to do this stuff. Let me teach you what happens to those who oppose press. Raven, that's not an ARC registered AC. Take it out. Okay, they're doing more of this shit where now we're like, that's interesting because it's the same difficulty crap that they, they did a lot in Silent Line, but they're much more fair about it now. It's still, a, it's still kind of mean to drop an AC fight on you after a protracted uh, NPC fight like that, but they're going to do what they're going to do. You can't stop FromSoft. Mm -mm. 
second I saw that flamethrower. No, no, no. You stay back there. You stay back there and get shot. Whew. Man, I hope the composer had a great time. The graphics are getting better but fuzzier. They're lower resolution. I can kind of tell. But yes, the frame rate is, is a lot more consistent, which is good. The graphics can be as fuzzy as they want. If the visual design is good, then you should still be able to play without a problem. You should be able to like recognize all the things you need to see. I think this might be this might be our guy. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be crisper on an emulator. Well, that's okay. It's interesting too cuz I feel like the renderer mission target sighted is missing a, like a couple of important vertical lines sometimes. It was like a, a visible... It's a trap. <laughs> a visible bar of distortion sometimes. So, they chose you. It's a trap. You seem so Fine, bored. Then. You'll regret accepting this mission. She's the one from the other mission, right? Yeah. The target I guess if you if you kill her in that mission, you, you don't get this one. Stuck on the wall again, so I can recharge. Damn. Uh. I didn't think the arc still had the highway. Oh. Fuck. I'm Whoa. Sorry, okay. Janobi. That's the one. Target destroyed. Even though the dev said AC6 is not going to be a Souls-like, how much do you think it actually will be? I think you can try to play it like a Souls-like if you really want to, but I think... I think you can build out an AC to play it like a like a Souls, like a shield and a sword, dodge and and soak damage, like you can, you can do that. But I think there will be builds that will just stomp on you. <laughs> uh, I think... And, and given how like more reactive to player activity FromSoft has gotten in their design, and you know, there's things like the the enemies that that basically bait you into circle strafing in um, Dark Souls 2, and then they flop on you. Armored Core has some stuff like that. So I think there will be a couple of moments. They'll be subtle, but I think there will be moments where Armored Core will check you if you're trying to play it like a Souls like. Um, and I think that people who try to play it like a Souls-like will get very frustrated. That's my theory. Uh, I... Oh, maybe. Let me see. Ah, one more. Hopefully it's the size you need. <sighs> kind of like comparing Sekiro to the Souls experience. I think Sekiro is a lot closer to Souls than Armored Core is. Now, I haven't. I obviously don't know where the series goes. It's going to be hard for me to imagine it gets slower. Um, 
It's a 3D game, and Souls is not. And I don't think anything is going to change that. Sekiro is still kind of a 2D game. If anything, it's almost a 1D game. Um, it's still awesome. It doesn't mean it's simple. But you don't have to consider spatial awareness. Um, that's such a big part of this game. It's 3D dogfights. So, unless they just completely remove or minimize that aspect, but nothing from the footage looks like they're going to. It looks like a new Armored Core game, which is not like Souls, really. Armored Core 1, like, the PlayStation Armored Core games felt more like Souls games. And that the, the controls were so clunky, you had to, like, you were steering your character. Um, and you had to, like, you had to think about every action before you did it. And then translate that into, like, steering controls. Now that it has twin stick and, like, boost and multiple buttons at the same time, it's less about, like, being very, um, measured and, and more about, like, the twitch reaction stuff. Which, Sekiro is a little more twitchy, but, uh, still, it's just different. It's different. You have to aim. Aim is not really a thing in the Souls games. Souls borns. It is sometimes. Yeah, lock on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aiming is, is such a huge part of the game, and that's just not... Like, nine times out of ten, it's just not a concern in a Souls game. A Souls born. But uh, it's it's more than that, though. It's not even just the presence of those mechanics. It's the fact that they're also... They can also be changed and altered and... Uh, oh, AC6 will have lock-on. Oh, like you click the, click the stick and lock onto something. Yeah, I guess you can you can do builds that minimize the need to aim, but kind of like how you can do builds that minimize particular mechanical aspects of Soulsborne games. I suppose it's something like that. So there's some, okay, so there's some story missions that have ACs in them, and those are the ones that I'm, that are walloping me right now. Once I get all of them unlocked, I guess I can go back through and try to, uh... I gotta be careful, because there's, there's things that I know that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. I need to look up when that embargo is. Main system engaging combat. Yeah, I went to a preview event, so. Raven, protect the convoy. Can't tell anyone about the sex minigame yet. The convoy is sustaining heavy losses. No energy sources detected. Area secure. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Does AC6 have a Robo Dong slider? I can't tell you that. I would get in trouble if I told you that you absolutely could or could not extend your Robodon. Optional parts indeed. There's, okay, this is definitely... Any, anything that pays over 150k definitely has an AC fight in it. I think this is how I'm going to suss out the difficult levels. Hey, is she thick? How's it going? Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one I didn't. So, the only thing that's down there is a shitload of drones. I, or, or maybe other things. Something the drone is... Something the drones are protecting, Rain maybe? Engaging combat. Destroy all targets. There's no pre there's no mention of a oh wait no that's right we killed it I was about to say there's no controller it's gone I'm not really 
really even brought up anymore, huh? That's a neat idea. I really like the idea. I think even now, nowadays, it might resonate even more. The idea that there's just a, an AI that everyone obeys, that no one really thought to question why, because it's just been done that way. Is this the one where you have to go into the base? And blow up the things? I think it is. Oh, we got some Barbenheimer uh, opinions rolling in. I haven't seen either yet. I have tickets for Oppenheimer. Your time is at hand, Raven. I'm excited to see Barbie. I'm disappointed in myself, though. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, get abs Raven, for the Barbie movie, down. and I like dieted really seriously. Just, body wasn't having it. But I did learn some things. I have made pretty significant improvements to my health in other areas, so still an improvement. My gut health has improved a lot since I started double filtering LA tap water. It truly has been a, a, a beautiful improvement to my quality of life. <laughs> Calculations. <laughs> this is basically me shoving this dude's head into a toilet. You just get spring water delivered. Destroyed. No energy sources detected. Wasn't there? I'm pretty sure there was a news story about Pinhead dying in a mission. Mission objective achieved. System that happened regardless uh, in the other one. Unless I'm misremembering the name, but let's see what happens. Yeah, got his ass. It is nice to, to win the AC missions. Although, again, I really wish it would mark them because I don't remember. Or I won't remember. Let's see here. Arena? Okay. Oh, the. Some folks are saying this score was a little oppressive. Yeah, Nolan does like his brrrm, doesn't he? I don't know whose Thanks ears they use to balance Tenet. I know everybody's talked about it. But I remember, like, hearing all the... Everyone kind of complain about the audio mix in Tenet and being like, it can't be that bad. And I finally watched it on Blu-ray. Even at home when I could, like, crank the soundbar. I was like, holy cow! Jesus fucking Christ. I'm grounded now. Is he inverted legs? Is that why he's, he's hopping everywhere? Jesus. Ugh. Are you, dude? God. He's just blasting me with this thing. Ugh. 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 Fuck, he's annoying. God. Practice 
Just dodge, yeah. Just dodge with no jets. You really gotta like, dude, you really just gotta keep them super, super far away from you. If they let you. I guess that's the thing. You're never, like once they get in, you're, you're fucked. At least with this build. Let's see here. <laughs> Triple missiles will beat him? I don't believe it. Dante Paget. Thanks for gifting a sub. We haven't been spotted yet. What's funny is I'm looking directly at a guide that spells out specific builds for every mission to get a tri an S rank. Main system. Engaging combat. Oh yeah. All targets in secure. so mad. Urgh. Oh, we can't get him, boys. What do we do? Where'd he go? Damn. I'm back, assholes. Fifty-foot penguin. Thank you very much for the sub. It's in the refrigerator. <laughs> Appreciate that. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Hmm. You were escaping a uh, advertising jail. Okay, we're getting there. Destroy defense force. PC performance retest. Hey, Dirty Rainbows. It's good to see you. Got to work an eight-hour shift today instead of 12. So stoked right now. Nice. We need to what are you going to do with your extra four hours? Please ensure that you give this operation your full attention. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Overheating, dude. Stuck back there? Oh. What the f- ah. Sometimes I'm like, moving the stick and the, the viewport isn't moving. That's the weird thing about this. Like, it, it's, it's mapped to the analog stick, but it's not actually analog still. That's okay. It's a half step. But there's some quirks. 
the data collected because it's like it's still just mapped to a d-pad and it doesn't like it only turns or doesn't it doesn't like turn a variable amount or accelerate or decelerate or anything like that mission objective achieved it still System leaps switch. and bounds better i'm not complaining but there's times where you're it's like wobbling back and forth between going left or going down and then it just doesn't do anything so or there's like i think there's some animations that when you're like swapping between walking forward to walking back or something like that it's like you can't turn and do that at the same time you stop turning for a little bit and then you start turning again oh heat is removed in ac4 mm, much to look forward to <laughs> To those remnants. Nexus is the black sheep of the pre four games? Why is that? I would think it would be Silent Line. It's like the hardest pre analog stick game. That's a. And the missions, like on top of that, the missions themselves are pretty brutal just in their layout. Area. Oh, I'm too high. <laughs> Squad, too hold your position. <laughs> we know the terrain. The advantage is ours. Five targets remaining. Two targets remaining. Gonna start the Codathon after AC6 comes out. Yeah, yeah. I need to look at releases and see like what's the next, what the next gap after Armored Core is. Ooh, yeah, this year's COD hasn't even been announced, much less have a release date. That's weird. Well, are they on the? leaked on monster energy drinks it's been leaked to i think a few different ways what you think the next cod will be i mean the the leaks all say modern warfare 3 right yeah by sledgehammer that makes sense and it's like the most activision thing to do to not even wait for infinity ward to come around again and then in the rotation that also means they plan to do that three years ago um so now we ha we're gonna ha <laughs> i don't know if this is a new thing of just like spreading their COD sub franchises across their multiple developers to make iterative sequels. This that's the first time I think that's happened. Ubisoft did the thing where they had multiple studios all contribute to individual sequels. I guess it's really like no energy source. Every Call of Duty at this point is a collaborative project between all the studios. There's just one lead. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Didn't Sledgehammer do the OG Modern Warfare 3? No. No, that was still Infinity Ward, but that was after the the exodus of the executive band. Um Sledgehammer did Advanced Warfare. That was their first, I think. Well, they helped with Modern Warfare 3, okay. Which is the latest COD? Modern Warfare 2, again. Invade Warehouse. Okay, yeah. Destroy remaining forces is the mission after this. For the third time? I think so, yeah. Because there was Modern Warfare 2, and then there was the remaster, and now there's Modern Warfare 2. Engaging combat. Clear the area of all Mavis forces. Wave 
approaching. Fourth enemy wave approaching. Fifth enemy wave approaching. The Modern Warfare Part 2. The Last of Modern Warfare. No energy sources detected. Area secure. The Triarch decides to reboot Black Ops now, I'll die. Mission objective. It's time for it, right? System switch to normal mode. They seem to have completely given up on World War II games. Which kind of makes sense. Nobody bought them. Caveman Ops. Yeah, destroy remaining forces is the next hidden mission. Price returns. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> More tanks. All right. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Oh, this music is nice. Clear the area of all Navis forces. It's not labeled. Whew. All right. Okay, cool. Northwest. I can hang with that. Night vision mode engaged. Cool. Speaking of modern ops, tactical ops. All right, where are these stupid reinforcements? Hmm. <laughs> That's the sound of tactics. You should just take COD to space. Already happened. It was called Infinite Warfare and it fucking ruled. But Call of Duty Bros were too up up their own ass to appreciate it. Targets remain. That's right, I said it. Infinite Warfare was good. It was like it was fully campy too. It was like a big stupid space ridiculousness. Energy sources detected. It was it was almost like a parody of Call of Duty games. It was great. Yeah, they did Fast Nine, but I mean Fast and Furious got to that level later. That just the hyper absurdity of it. I want to play through all the Call of Duties just so I get to play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It had the grapple before grapples were popular. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, Reese. I don't remember. There's, there's drama around the release of every COD. I know Activision gets really um, aggressive with monetizing the launch of Call of Duty games. Whoa, Dave Seurat, thank you very much for the 12 months of subs. That was one anniversary. E. 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 All right, let's see. Let's see that mission list. Oops. Mechiel. Did I go down in rank? I used to be like eight or seven or something. Do, do, other, do other cores get more points the longer you play? Yeah, yeah. 
here. I'm just gonna open up my fancy schmancy little little notepad here. Just mark down the ones that are not unlocked. Ambush Crest HQ Force. It's not in there. Search for Survivors is not there. Okay, there's only two more missions that I haven't at least attempted. Bullet Life. The Nick. Thank you for the sub. Oh no, Lou, if you just lost power. Jeez. These times are entirely too precedented. I've been waiting for this day. Or they need more precedents. Look at those guns. This man loves guns. Where the fuck are you? Oh. What a duel. I'm the grim fire. It ha that's how it'd be, though. What's that Nightbot thing? The link? OJ, dude, that is today's sponsor. Ipsos, I say. A uh, survey service. You can sign up for a lot of surveys and win stuff. You get points for every survey you fill out. You can win... Rewards like a Subway gift card, Domino's, Dunkin, Burger King, Amazon, Target, Walmart, Visa prepaid cards, PayPal transfers. Turn your marketable data into cash today with the Ipsos I say. Free to sign up. You just have to take like a stack of, uh, you have to take a couple of uh, profiling surveys so they know what products to ask you about. I did a long survey about social networks and how I engage with them and what I go to them for. It's kind of interesting. I feel like my my take on that is going to be a little different since I work on most social network services, but still, it's fun to do. You can just do it on your phone while you're killing time. Let's see here. Food? Yes, you can turn surveys into food while you're eating food. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, if you're interested in checking it out, just hit the link. It's free to sign up real fast. Is there an app for the survey thing? Good question. Hmm, I just did it through the web. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an app. I mean, you can do it through the their website. I'm pretty sure if there were an app, it would just load up the website anyway. Surveys can be exchanged for goods and services. Yeah, I. this is going to sound weird, given that, that marketing and, and advertising is the core of it. But I really, really appreciate how simple and clean the website is. I'm so tired... <laughs> of websites that are just choked with like Local banner ads and pop-ups and they ask you they want to know your location for some reason and they want to they want you to sign up for a newsletter and then a little thing slides up on the bottom that's like hey do you want to sign up for our like loyalty program i mean it's just like it's non-stop man the internet now is is so much more annoying than it was in the 90s when there were like pop-ups with sound and all sorts of things it's worse it's so much worse it was better for a while and now it's worse that's why you need ad blockers. But anyway, I rant over. Point is, 
The website's really clean. Surveys are all clearly labeled, easy to fill out. This is gonna, this is also gonna sound weird given that the whole purpose is to harvest your data for advertisers and stuff, but they're at least upfront about it. And there's no ulterior motive behind anything on the website. It's just you put in your info, they find market data they want, you give it to them. Yeah, chat about windows appear. But dink, hey! If you have any trouble signing in, just let me know. My name's Erica, I'm a real human. Okay, bye. One target remaining. Every time I log into my bank now, a freaking non-human has to badoink. Be like, hey, engage with me. I'm gonna take the secret this time. Yeah, the Bank of Erica. Hi. Uh -huh. Erica. So yeah, the freaking digital assistant did not pop up on the Ipsos I Say website and ask me if I needed help filling out any surveys. Enemy reinforcements are on the way. Get to the surface before they arrive. Cannot unlock gate. My favorite is there's actually a, uh, oh man, I got tricked again. There's a website that I'm actually in customer support with now for some uh, financial stuff. And even though I already have a ticket open, there's still a little robot that pops up and asks me if I need help with anything every time I log in. It's it's borderline mocking. Especially since they won't answer. Like the little window pops up and it's like, we respond in like five minutes. And here I am with a support ticket that's like a week old. System switch to normal mode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like the tech the tech future has allowed everyone to think you can run a company with ver like no human overhead. That it's, if it's all computers and services, that that just happens automatically. The only time you'd ever have to do anything is if like, if Google's or Apple's computers turn off, that's not my problem. But Lord forbid anyone have any like issue or any like thing breaks. Anyway. Okay, I'm done waving my cane, I think. Or am I? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right, she thick. Techies are running companies without human overhead. And they're just pocketing all the money. Cause there's no there's no interest in making it sustainable. It's really just like how much money can I harvest off this before it dies? I will give, um, to me, YouTube deserves a little credit because they ran into that problem where they were going to require a lot of human overhead to keep the service running to, like, manually vet videos and, and review ratings and things. And it seems like they really did higher up. They just have banks of people to do that. Uh, Walter, I will show you my shirt sh shortly. Sh momentarily. Uh, I guess I can say it in words. It's It's got a little logo on it for Japangelis, which is a little outlet shop in uh, Japantown, little Japan in downtown LA. If Twitter shuts down, I do not plan to find a replacement. Sorry if that happens to decrease my chances of seeing streams, but I just can't be bothered to refollow and find anyone I care about. No, that's okay. I don't post on Twitter. <laughs> I uh, I post to my Discord. I once in a while will feel like doing a go live post, but there's no like there's no point. I mean, there's no point in general to posting on Twitter. It's gross, man. The the nature of Twitter. I maybe I can't speak for anyone too personally, but for me at least, Twitter Twitter was a way for like the most annoying person in the world to find and interact with anything I had to say. Uh, the only people who interacted with things are the people who, like, assumed the worst about it. All the time. 
So really, Twitter is a place that I would go whenever I wanted to make sure that anything I said was misinterpreted and, and like, reacted to in a hostile way. And guess what? I don't feel like that ever, so I just don't say anything. Um, there's, there's, like, no point. The only people who post on Twitter now are promoting things, like their streams, their content, whatever, which is fine. But that's what my feed is. That's all of it. Like, occasionally there will be a nice family post. But why would you ever put that on Twitter now? Really, it's just everybody, like, doing hashtag sponsored stuff and, and trying to, like, get people to pay attention to their books or their... projects, fundraisers, causes. And it's just like a, it's a non-stop, it's a wall of agenda. That's what Twitter is. Everybody's got an angle. And even if something doesn't have an angle and it's popular, then they immediately hitch an angle to it. Like the, the follow-up tweet of like, no, follow me here, sign up for my Substack. You gotta do it, but it's just annoying, man. Everyone, everyone's selling themselves all the time. Apps have allowed everyone to be their own boss, which means everyone's advertising. And now, and that's not even accounting for the actual advertising. So it's a wall of advertising with advertising in the middle. Ah, shit! I'm fucked. I got no yeah. I got nothing. Danger. AP at ten percent. What's that then? My feed is all artists, art tips, and jokes. I don't know what the average user base looks like. Yeah, pancakes. Maybe, maybe that's that's on me, because I mean, for a long time, my friends were creators, and that's kind of the like. If you, on Twitter, all you really see is the business facade of a creator some people were smart and had like separate personal feeds that were that were private that's nice let's see here attack excavation team ambush hq or ambush crest hq force is the mission that i haven't done next i made twitter into my customized porn scrolling social media because they have zero control over that yeah, Twitter seems pretty good for porn. Move escort units, Australians. Okay. Main system, engaging combat mode. Take out all targets. The enemy ACs are a new piece of our weapon. Oh yeah. Like fell off the map right away or something. Not much is known about them. Be careful. Target destroyed. <laughs> Directly above me? And behind. Damn, man. Let me get back there again. Yeah, I think what, what occurred to me that I couldn't, like the feeling that I just could not ignore once I realized it, is that every time I spent more than like a minute on Twitter, I felt bad. <laughs> I was either shown something that, that bummed me out or frustrated me or annoyed me or aggravated me. Whether that's people like signal boosting the things they disagree with or, or screenshotting things just so they can yell at a JPEG. It's just antagonism and self-promotion and it's not nourishing at all. I don't learn anything. I'm not exposed to any new cool ideas. And if there are new cool ideas, they're shrouded in five layers of self-promotion. Any, any original or interesting stuff just gets completely... Uh, completely buried. I guess that's just part of new media. You have to accept that everything's going to have going to have a million things like hitched onto it. I don't know that that's so much a tech bro problem.
problem. I think that's just, this is just the human race. It's what the commons sound like. Reddit isn't so bad, because Reddit still has, like... Reddit has that forum atmosphere where at least subreddits can enforce their own particular cultures. And some of those cultures can be pretty civilized. Oh, okay. Driving those sites into the ground? Yeah. Trying to trying to make money off them. And especially just having a... Uh... Ooh, defeat ACs. Multiple ACs. Um, for me, it's like the... The complete misunderstanding of what motivates people to talk to each other or say things out loud. Twitter has some unique phrases in a certain way of writing that's pretty obnoxious. Yeah. Enemy AC yes. target spotted. Yeah, I think I agree with that. The quote tweet. Deploying ACs. The quote tweet can be used well and responsibly, but often it sounds like it sounds like somebody who's like in a discussion circle, but they talk extra loud so everyone in the room can hear what they're saying. That's what quote tweets always feel like. Or like you're you're having a minor disagreement with somebody, and then instead of answering you, they turn to a group and say their answer then, and then turn back to you and look like that. And everybody's like listening, and, and it, they're kind of vibing off the conflict, and you're like, I thought we were... I, did... I made the mistake of trying to be me right now, whereas you're just trying to score points. And I'm annoyed that I fed into that. I'm annoyed that I let you score points off me. That's... It was interesting because I remember reading that, um, I don't remember where I was reading this, but, but people in Japan consider quote tweets rude, so they don't do them because it seemed like it doesn't, I guess, I guess it would, the association was that you typically do that to be negative. So they just did, they just chose not to. I was like, yeah, actually, yeah. Critical thing is to have all these thoughts. Oh, of course, there's a bonus one. And come to all these realizations, and then actually just put your phone down and think about something else. Read a book or do something else that's like stimulating. Enemy reinforcements detected to the I'm south. kind of concerned how many economies are getting built up around Watch distraction. They've sent in another AC. Dispose of it immediately. this stream. Hey! Hey! Yeah, good point. Ooh, I can't rightly deny that. <laughs> I just watch a lot of movies and try to learn more about filmmaking. Not productive to the world at large, but it makes me feel nice. Yeah. Productivity is a, I don't know. Productivity is a yoke. You don't have to be productive. Also, productivity is a, is an illusion. You don't know the world anything. Damn, man. Ugh. Die. It took me a while to like, oh, to really parse that out. The like, mm. 
It's weird because, like, the aphorisms about your life having value and you being a valuable person, they're nice. But I didn't realize that the other side of that was that the meaning of that is that you don't have to justify your value. You don't have to prove it to anybody. It has value into itself. It's a self-existing property. So when it comes to, like, being productive, for me, it was always like I have to justify why I'm alive, but also, you know, why I'm here. Uh just in general on this planet. I've been given life, so I have to do something with it. I think I think that's kind of a it's a it's a debt that I think is inherited or I inherited from uh, pretty conservative Christian stuff. Let's see your ambush HQ force ought to be here. Yeah, okay. And then there's one more. Burden of purpose. Yes. Mm, yes. This is why the Matrix really, uh, really lit me up because it was is kind of talking about the fundamentals of existence, purpose, and free will. Oh, it's this freaking I. It's the it's the floaty mission and the missile mission. Ugh. I'm faster this time. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Used to feel guilty about leisure time, but then I realized that that's just people telling me it's a waste when it really isn't a waste at all. Oh. What's life for? I mean, it's not for leisure. I guess it can be if somebody wants it to be. Hedonistic kind of approach, but... Watch out. Just but there are people who, like, need li life to, yeah, match ideas of productivity so that there's something that justifies the time spent, I guess. Whoa. That's why the challenge, the most challenging thing to do sometimes is to just be, be alive be okay with that. That's the that's the power of meditation. It's to uh, experience just being without uh, a to-do list, feed, wants, dreams, ambitions, desires. Connecting. As long as I they kind of just collide with the ground. Yeah, fungus mouse. Thank you for the sub. Being able to just be is pretty neat. I agree. Hey Morgan Farts. I desire to be in a mech that is controlled entirely by the power of my erection. There's a lot of nuances to your erection that it's gonna have to translate into mech controls. It's a pretty uh, one-dimensional, one-dimensional control method, dude. This is why ammo in this game's cheaper. I was told the missiles stop eventually. along with your AC. Try harder, Mirage. Serious breach of contract. We can't let it go unpunished. Mission objective achieved. 
System switch to normal mode. All right. Destroy the resistance force. Main system engaging. I kind of want them to win. Destroy I wonder if there's the ever an. I wonder if there's ever an armored core that gives you a more like traditional, satisfying. Spotted. Take a big overthrow attack. the system. Create a. The resistance force. A new society for everyone. Kind of deal. They must not escape with it. Hey, welcome back, Luke Box. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Wasn't that one of the Ace Combat games endings? Where you were a cyber pilot and you up in the world order with the power of the internet and jets? Kinda. But it turns out that was all a simulation because some dude got mega cucked. And so he trapped the dude that cucked him in a, like... Or no, wait. He was running AI simulations to figure out how to embarrass the dude that cucked him? So yeah. He got ultimately cyber cucked. Let's see your clear out Mirage forces, investigate phenomenon. All right. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> Digion. <laughs> that was a cool game. I really liked Ace Combat 3. Uh, very similar to Armored Core, more than usual, because of all of its like corporate stuff and uh, the UI being like a system OS and all that stuff. Um, quick break, restroom time. I'll be right back. See you soon. Back. Let's see. We got a couple more missions to play before the the next. Yeah, I think after this. I think after this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Smash everything. Well, finally getting into the missions where I, uh, I'm running out of ammo again. Your reward for this mission will be based on the number of targets you destroy. So there's no need to hold back. Yeah, Reese. I was I was noticing that. Armored Core and Ace Combat. Main system. Similar feelings. Very, very similar con like content layouts. Just the structure of the game and how you access the missions and game content and stuff.
Good work. That should teach Mirage a lesson. Got him. Yeah, that beep beep is fun. I mean, that was my fault because I, I was at the map, corner of the map. It's playing conservatively. It's not a whole lot of reason to, though. You gain money, win or f most of the time you gain money, win or fail, win or lose. Um, and all I need is for the mission to go by. So really, I could just die, and that would probably be the more efficient way to do this. Let's see. Yeah, search for survivors. This is one, the last one in this run of the story I haven't attempted. Once I get them all unlocked, I guess I'll I'll do a little skim of the mission list. Pick out the ones that have high payouts because they probably have AC fights that I haven't haven't cleared. Main system, engaging combat mode. The entrances are locked. There should be another path that leads inside. There is. Proceed with caution. That's not that one. Yeah, there's a random vent. This is not timed. There we go. That's right, Walter. Night vision mode engaged. Dedication to content completeness continues. Although I guess really it's not that because uh, I'm not getting every part, but that's okay. It's like you can do a, a road trip, but are you really going to stop at every gas station? Cannot unlock gate. Oh, I got to use the other vents. If I'm well hydrated, yes. I used to get such anxiety, such piss anxiety going on trips. But that's just because my dad would always just like lose his goddamn mind if we ever had to stop his stop to use the restroom as kids. My dad was the classic, like, so wound up that he couldn't relax on vacation. It was one pretty great time and we all knew not to laugh because he was already like he was already at the breaking point somehow on vacation the man was on the edge but there was one time where my we like i told my dad i had to use the restroom i was a child by the way and he was mad he was like he was like screaming mad in the car that i didn't have the foresight to say that when we were in town and uh where there were gas stations and stuff. He was mad that we were just leaving town um, when I said that. So he was yelling about it. And all the while, all the while I'm thinking like, you can turn around, man, that's a car. Cars go where you tell them to. Not hard to turn around. Really not that long either. It's just, you turn around. Use the restroom. I'm back on the road. 10 minutes tops. Oh, okay. I get to see the drones. There they are. Yeah, I didn't do this mission before. Oh! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, my god. oh they're so mad! They're so mad at me! God damn! A lot of drones, though. Alright, anyway. My dad refused to turn around. Refused to even stop the car. He wouldn't even pull over on the side of the road. It's where I can, like, use the restroom like a... Normal. He can't. He handed me a cup. A styrofoam cup. So I pissed in that cup. It was not easy. Because I had to go, like, when you have to pee, it's pressurized, and, like, so I, I had to, like, let a little timid stream out to make sure that I didn't ramp it up the side and, like, out onto my hand or something, because of, no, no lid. Absolutely not. But I, I did it. Or rather, I peed some. I, re I remember it wasn't, like, obviously wasn't a, a relaxing, enjoyable piss experience, but I was, I managed to get the pressure off. Cannot unlock I gave it back to my dad, and he 
tried to pour it out, but the brain trust poured it forward. He like held the cup out of the window and poured it forward. So the wind hit it and it sprayed all over his hand. <laughs> and he was like, oh, God, son of a dumb dark <laughs> Just like, just like <laughs> indiscriminate dad cussing, you know? And I was like, this is the funniest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. And I can't laugh at it. I'm not allowed to laugh. If I laugh, it is all over. I think everybody in the car knew that too. Everybody was just like, just like super stone faced. We didn't even talk about it after. Like, my, my dad was so wound up, you weren't really allowed to laugh at anything <laughs> ever. But, uh, I'm laughing at that. Uh, so, where'd they want me to go? Do I have to leave this way? There's like two tunnels out? One of these is, is not gonna work. But I won't know that until I go there. Dad used to train me in martial arts as a kid. He was sparring with me, but I blocked an axe kick. He did a little too... Wait. I blocked an axe kick he did. A little too... Way... And panicked. So backed up. I slid to his other leg coming off the ground and it's landing on his hand and breaking his wrist. Oh, Jesus. Oh, a little too well. Oh, okay. Cannot unlock gate. Sounds like his kung fu was weak. That sucks, though. Wrists, I don't imagine, are very fun breaks to, to have or recover from. Ugh. Your technique was superior. Oh, he didn't go to the doctor about it. For the... He just got to enjoy... Like, wrist pain for the rest of his life? Madly. Don't make a fuss. Mm. There's no way that this is gonna... Ugh. Ah! Dead! <laughs> okay. Cannot unlock gate. I guess you have, you have to go all the way back out the way you came, I guess? Is that what they're telling me to do? When I was a kid, I was on top of a septic line as it exploded, showering me with what you'd expect to be in a septic line. Man. The transport will be there shortly. Cool. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal. That's one of those memories you don't forget, huh? Chaser boy, thank you for the sub. Oh, 36 months. E, E, E. Three anniversaries. There was visible corn. Mmm. The heartland of America. That's America's digestive tract right there. It's beautiful. Because it's free. Speaking of free, would you like free gift cards to find retailers like Target, Walmart, Apple, Amazon, Grubhub, Dunkin' Donuts? You can have them for free. 
just by sharing that tender marketing data you possess. With Ipsos I say. Thank you, Dap Dude. Product research. Simple questions earn gift cards and rewards. Free to sign up. So many different gift cards to choose from. I think I just like the cash out. I like the PayPal. I like to keep it all cash. Hush, hush. All right. Okay, I guess that's, um, that's all the rest of the... Hold on a minute. Let me check this. Uh, not be ad. The bag is being secured. Thank you for, ch for chipping into that bag just then. Expert ad segue off a of poop story. This is what my clients pay for. And they're going to get every ounce of it. That should be all of them. That doesn't mean I've cleared them all. Well, all of them passed. Yeah. Meh. But I have to restart the story to be able to get the other missions that I did not play. Which means I have to beat it. I don't think I'm allowed to lose these... I wonder if I'm allowed to lose these missions now. Did I save? I think I saved. Oh boy, it's this. Okay. They expect you to lose this anyway, so it's fine. Main system. Engaging combat. I'm used to betray. God damn, dude. That's all that matters right now. Dude. Beat me. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can you, just, can you just chill for a little bit, my guy? Yeah. Every hit overheats me. Ah, God, I can never get energy. Jeez, it's ridiculous. Okay. I mean, he he hasn't done his like halfway dead call out line. It seems like it's what that's what they do. They have like a vocal line that goes off when they're fifty percent health or something. Ooh. I see him. Oh! Maybe he won't come up this high. It'd be cool if he would just shoot all his ammo at me. But miss. That's the important part. Jesus Christ! I couldn't even like. Defense is dead. Uh, I don't know why. Turn to base. Means you just can't look where you want to look. Okay, now it's massive. Yeah, see, Dante? It's pretty smooth, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, I did a, I just did a 10-minute survey about social media. Uh, it was like Google Discover, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, some things like that. Just kind of said, this is why I go there. This is what I get out of it. This is how I interact with products on or advertising on these services. Stuff like that. I got 75 points. Almost a fifth of the way to a uh, delicious gift card.
worked last time. Oh, there we go. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. <laughs> cool, cool. So now it's the last level. Which I guess you have to clear to reset the game? Maybe I'll one-shot it. That'd be fun. Yeah. Saving after every mission. Why not? But yeah, Silent Line. Silent Line made me afraid. Yeah, Gweepies, I didn't really use the tank much. Uh, there's no need to anymore. I can move now. Okay. Now I just gotta run away. Intruder detected. Keep him at max range and try to wiggle step. and then blasted my ass. Target destroyed. Oh, thank God. Weird. Is this the evolutionary AI or whatever? <laughs> oh yeah, drones. Forgot about this part. Active AI. What are those? We're too late. Damn. 
That beat goes off. Enemy targets approaching. It may be too late. But we must stand and fight. <laughs> it's our way. <laughs> They're here. Why does that make me laugh? Oh shit. Oh, that's right. Halo reach out, dude. Last of the mix. The most armored of calls. Goodbye, armored call. Until the game that comes out two months from now or whatever. Cool though, man, it's a cool effect. fail this by falling off the platform and you have to beat the whole mission again? Oh, man. <sighs> this is a very F-Zero GX sounding song. Yeah. This could absolutely be the theme of one of the racers in F-Zero GX. But is this what it's like being under Dave Matthews' tour bus? Instead of drones, it's turds. You're having a nice day on the beach. Missed the plot. What happened? Um, I blew up the ro the machines. There was an angry robot. I blew him up too. And then many robots tried to blow me up. And here we are. What's the most bodily functions you've done in one instant? Because I just farted and sneezed while taking a piss, and I think my body just took a screenshot. Uh, <laughs> that's three, isn't it? I've I've. I've had digestive issues before, which have led to anal expressions and uh, oral expressions at the same time. Now, I can't promise that I was peeing while that was happening, but I probably did a little bit. Yeah, food poisoning is really the, it's where the, the most liquids come out, I think, from as many holes as possible. I mean, you can guarantee my nose was running and my eyes were watering at the time. For emotional reasons, if not physical one. Are there any AMVs to this song? Back in de December, I had gastroenteritis. A lot of vomit while already on the toilet. Ugh. Ugh. I'm just now kind of getting over having irritated stomach lining for like four years. I was taking Omeprazole the whole time to kind of compensate for it, but now that I'm drinking properly filtered water, my body is regenerating. My, my cells special cells are regenerating. Yeah, body regeneration, that's gaming. Seeing the credits, gaming. Hold on. 
Gaming. 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 Oh, I lost money on that. I saved the world or something. Now it just shows you the first mission again? Okay. So here's the trick. Yeah, attack Mirage search team. You have to lose the first level. All right? You have to lose it. You have to not win it. To, to Let's see here. Protect Mirage base. Yeah, intercept bombers and then eliminate attackers. Okay, so there's Missile performance retest. It's probably something that I do need to do. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. All right. So the first two are the missile performance retest. And the second eliminate base attackers. Because there's two of those. So let me see here. The first eliminate base attackers. I wonder if it, it's probably just lose the first one. There are no notes about it. Okay. Yeah, it really seems like all the missions just appear once you fail, fail the first iteration of them, which is really interesting. Hey, Turbid. How's it going? How's life? All right, I'm gonna lose this mission. 92 months, that's a lot of months. When you get to 100, I'm gonna play a song for you. I feel like I'm gonna play Proud Mary, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna let it be impulsive for the moment, whatever that happens to be. I should buy a recorder and play something on that. I could learn a song for Turbid? I'm okay, I'm supposed to... I almost forgot. I'm supposed to lose here. Enemy spotted. You should put your name on our place. You mean Turbid's name? I agree. Commencing operation. I agree with that. Main Kalena the Poi Boy? Wow! Thanks for gifting two subs. Appreciate that. You got a little booby gift there too. Nice. And it looks like a gif of a golf club that you can pee into. Fantastic. <laughs> Terrific. All right. Hello, fellas. Is this where the hottie's at? How about the book? I haven't read it yet. I'm going to read it on stream. Should I listen to the audiobook first? Or should I just read it and react to it live? Warning. Did you run out of the mission to fail it? Oh. Yes, probably. You know what? Yes. Yeah, I made my choice. I chose what I'm gonna do here. Woo woo. Yeah, I gotta get my uh my Billy Blanks exercise mic back out. I'm gonna make Twitch hot. Returning to base. Defense is damaged. Halting combat. Return to base. Like paying money to get a worse job? Yeah, pretty much. Because I think the I think the reattempt does pay worse. I think it's slightly easier. There's like one or two fewer enemies or something. 
you listen to the audio book, you would know what to expect and how to adjust your voice accordingly, but up to you. Hmm. It's true. That is true. Oh yeah, it's the only one. Yeah, re-attack search team. I wonder what happens if you fail this. Maybe you just have to do this mission again. Sucks, brother. No energy sources detected. Area secure. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. We're digging in deep. We're finding all of the content. <clears throat> Experiencing all of the delicious content available. So let's see here. So there's a sealed mission or a, like a hidden mission after Protect Mirage Base. I also think there is a follow up to Missile Performance Test. What's weird is the performance test is sealed, but the other one is not. Like the first one doesn't appear, but the second one does. So that's weird. Uh, let me look up this other mission here. So I guess if you fail Protect Mirage Base, you get a different mission. Soren Markov, thanks for the sub. Oh, this is the one with a cool POV shot flying through. Wait, is it? Oh, I think that one's later. Or maybe it is! The desert storm shot. Yeah, Reese, the, uh, the cutscenes in this game are, are good. They're fun to watch. They're exciting. Main system. All right. I gotta just lose. I, uh, I did the save, right? Take them out. Yeah, let me just leave. Raymond, this base is expected to be operational in the near future. Leaving combat area. Aborting mission. It didn't cost me anything. All right, now intercept bombers should appear. Is that what this is? No, it did not appear. So I think you have to lose. I think lose is different than abort. Oh, oh. It's trying to get me to save when I leave. It doesn't want me to save scum. That's interesting. Hold on, protect Mirage Base. I wondered about that. I feel like Armored Core would distinguish between aborting the mission and... Uh, 
uh, failing. Hey, B. Brian. B. Brian. How you doing? Cheating the system a little bit here. Why do I have zero points? Do you have to, like... Can you only get number one in the arena on a fresh save? Is that how that works? Or I guess I just started a new story. Wait a minute. Ah, okay. I did not save after any of that stuff. Gonna miss these Armored Core streams when they're over? That's okay, there will be other games. Enemy spotted. Main system, engaging combat. There'll be other series to learn Destroy and explore. Leaving combat area. Aborting mission. This will be a good, good data point. Let's see if uh, the reattack search team mission appears or if it just skips to the next thing. If it's protect Mirage base. Still got paid though, for some reason. Love it. This game's so much kinder in nearly every regard. Yeah, it is. What the heck? So it counts as failure that time. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to uh, I'm gonna get back to to uh, Yakuza pretty soon. Main system, engaging combat. Nobody panic. One Gotta gotta finish off the uh, Star Wars prequel thon. It's actually kind of the first series project I t undertook when I started streaming more full time. You plan to finish every Ace Combat before Mission 6 releases? Achieved. Ace Combat? I already did all the Ace Combat. What prequel games are left? There's there's like a couple of uh, Episode 3 games. And then it gets a little funky. Uh, like technically Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen Order, and Survivor count? Um, there, I think Star Wars Connect kind of counts. Okay, so protect Mirage Base. I'm gonna save. At the time, AC Nexus got a lot of flack for being brutal, mostly because no one was prepared to deal with overheat damage. I mean, there is a lot of overheating. Um, yeah, that's it's rough. But it's weird because this game is way less brutal than Silent Line. It's so much kinder in terms of its, like, nearly everything. Okay, so the the base has to die. I will destroy the base. Main system. I wonder if that, I wonder if that, like, there aren't defense targets, are there? I think the you just have to stay alive. Take them out. Don't let the helicopters kill me. This base is expected to be operational. Keep them at bay. Oh, they're attacking the base. Okay. a new game now? Yeah, sort of. Uh, I, this is the third time I've restarted. And though this time I'm following a <clears throat> following a guy that I understand a little better. Okay. Intercept Bomber should show up now. 
I don't think it did. What the heck? Destroy support supplies? That skipped, like, a ton of missions. What the? Because eliminate base attackers isn't even there now. Something's up. Something's not right. Yeah, because it's it, this one didn't even wasn't even there. It's all the way down here now. Intercept bombers is after. Not according to the guide I'm looking at. Also, it's not after in this list either. It skipped from Protect Mirage Base to Destroy Support Supplies, which is there. And then the mission one is... oops. Or the missile one. The missile one doesn't show up. You have to fail it. Yeah, there's, a lim there's an Eliminate Base Attackers variant that I need to get, but that mission didn't even appear. Unless it's, like, completely out of order here. Okay, I will... I'll win the mission this time and see what the next set of missions is. Can stream the new Remnant game? Maybe. You ever thought of streaming different kinds of content like Bruce's watch parties? Um, I do, yeah. I just <laughs> I just streamed Media Tech for like 48 hours straight. Uh, I'll do rhythm games sometimes. I used to do Media Share, but discovered that I liked playing games more than watching videos. Sometimes if, uh, sometimes if Steph's playing, I can work in, uh, I can work in her gameplay into the stream. You know what I've found, though? People don't like variety. Not on Twitch, anyway. Performance for streams that are deviate, deviate away from what a stream usually is typically perform a lot worse. And then there's just the aspect of having to like set up everything. It's it's more work for less performance, pretty much in every way. Main system engaging. Intercept bombers showed up after I did the blow up supplies mission for me. The wiki has it both has it after both the first test and the supplies destroying mission. All right. So it's not cued to anything here then. The operational in the near future. Keep them at bay. Intercept bombers showed up only after I did the blow up the supplies mission. But you, okay, so you didn't have to fail anything for destroy or uh, intercept bombers to show up. It's mostly like the missions that don't just appear on the map that I'm I'm really hawkish about right now. No energy sources detected. Area secure. Okay. All right. Then yeah, I guess this Mission guide is incorrect. Fantastic. System switch to normal mode. <sighs> yes, Walter. No, I, I think you're correct. You don't typically want variety from something you use as as comfort content. Consistency is the name of the game when it comes to comfort. That's why McDonald's always tastes the same. I get it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not lamenting it. I'm just saying this is why streams might be homogenous. Okay. Well, I do need to lose the... Well, destroy support supplies. Then why are these above this one? I also think I need to fail the missile test. But maybe I did fail it before... Let's see here. Destroy support supplies I have done, so I'm going to go in and fail this because there is a missile retest. I even saw it on my last playthrough, but I didn't do it. What's the reason you use, people use two computers to stream instead of just one? To begin. Um, division, of, division of resources. You can have one computer whose resources are devoted entirely to encoding and sending out a stream, and another PC whose resources are dedicated to processing a video game. Um, 
There, there'd be no reason for me to use two PCs if I were streaming from a console, like I am now. It's also, there's not much of a reason now either with some other technologies that have gotten better over time, but I hit a certain performance cap in OBS that the only practical solution was to separate them, was to separate the PCs, basically. I can lose it complicates audio setups yeah you get some freedoms and you get more restrictions definitely not the uh, easiest thing to do what's really fun is when audio comes over different Data formats incomplete. the test is finished it said incomplete so hopefully that works yeah, you could use one PC. In fact, if somebody's new to streaming, there's no reason, there's very, very little reason to hyper-complicate things by using two PCs. I'd say one is the way to go these days. Uh, I think there's certain performance gains you can get, or quality gains, I should say. Quality gains you can get by dedicating a PC to streaming as well. It allows you to set up an encoder a particular way. Arena, destroy supplies. Arena never unlocks anything, does it? Like, if your only concern is unlocking story missions, destroy as many of winning or losing arena fights is is irrelevant, I think. Oh, this one. Main system engaging combat. where you have to break stuff are really fun. Yeah. Stream from an Xbox. Stream using your Kinect. Okay, Xbox. Stream... Stream Halo. That's what Ninja said, and then he became a billionaire. Has Ninja tried to open a restaurant yet? He should do that. Imagine getting corn dog, Or you could get a sandwich with chips at Ninja's restaurant. How cool would that be? Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal. You don't play EDF anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I would. Still waiting on EDF 6 to come out. I guess my favorite would be the most recent one, 5. I didn't like it as much as 4 to begin with, but as time went on. And it's just a longer, ridic more ridiculous game. He's more energy drink kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, intercept bombers. All right. Weird. But intercept did. How did I not play this mission? Ever? It's not in the mission list. How did I? Did I? I don't get it. But all right. Yep. Thank you, Nero, for steering me this direction. Popped up retroactively. Oh, that's right. No, this guide says that it's like, it's a sealed mission, so it doesn't appear in the mission list for whatever reason. This one says that it takes the, this guide says that it takes the place of another mission, but 
They say you get they say you get this one by failing the second mission, which makes no sense, but whatever. Main system engaging combat. The enemy bombers are your targets. Take them out. Raven, do not let them get near the base. We're counting on you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's the supply mission thing that set it on this path. That'd be so weird, but whatever. I'm only playing Air Raider, so I can pretend I'm playing Armored Core. Enemy reinforcements detected to the north. Hey, there are some missions sometimes where you fight bugs in this game. Stay alert. There are more incoming. So yeah, the mission objective the missile retest to and the base the failed base attackers one. Those are supposed to be the missions that'll fill out those two in the mission list at the beginning. Maybe. There's a mission that only unlocks if you fail a mission twice. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, there's the retest. I need this and then I need to eliminate base attackers so I can get the crappy version of it. Oh yeah, Barry? You at EDF 2025, wrote it off because I never heard of it and was a dumb kid? Is about to begin. But I made you try Only it, huh? As many missiles as possible. Very good. Main system. EDF rocks. The only way I'm getting into heaven is if I get enough people to play and enjoy EDF. We expect better results this time. Mission objective achieved. All right. System switch to. Hey, Zafind. Hello and welcome. Okay, let's see if that shows up in the mission list. That would be weird, but maybe it will. It did. Yeah, the retest it. How strange. So yeah, eliminate base attackers, the second version of that. Is the next one I need. Oops, keep hitting that. It's a weird UI. There's one after. Yeah, and there's only one more mission after that that I haven't unlocked. I 
like... Jeez. Just the invasion force has arrived. Oh, you saw me at the Gizzard show? Oh, man. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, I knew that they went hard, but I kind of didn't expect them to go that hard that long. Straight? Youth is a beautiful thing, I suppose. But yeah, great show. Even, like, Steph is not the biggest fan of, like, prog and psychedelic music. But even she was impressed with just their musicians. Musicianship. I think they, uh, I think they won her over just by fucking shredding so hard. So that's, you know, it was fun to kind of see that. But yeah. We are blessed. We are blessed to have them in music. That's for sure. Yeah, great show. Uh, met. Got to chit chat some uh, some colorful characters. We have to retreat. Oh yeah, this is when the dude shows up just to be awesome. Oh, that's the first time you've heard of them. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's certainly a lot to listen to. I think the thing is though, their stuff is so freeform. It's kind of difficult to to give it shape in your mind, give it a name and like a, a tune you can remember. No energy sources detected. Area secure. Mission objective achieved. I'm not used to sweating. I realize how lackadaisical I took my cross country runs in high school. Ah, uh, yeah. Time caught up with you? It's kind of getting me, I gotta be honest. I was, uh... Trying to focus on cutting calories, and I think... I think I neglected, uh, strength training for too long, so... Ring Fit is my way of kind of tiptoeing back into that. Let's see here. Remove Terrence. Attack Supply Convoy. Okay, good. Eliminate base attackers. Alright, so if I fail this one, then I'll get the other one. Trying to get back to good cardio as a base level of fitness, and then I'll do some other stuff. That's good. Cardio can kind of come along with a bunch of other workouts if you're doing interval stuff. But yeah, I've just been walking, which has uh, given me great legs and actually really tight legs. I, I need to stretch those out a lot more. But I've been just, just been trying to burn calories so that I can get to a deficit. It hasn't been working super well. Which is kind of predictable, I think. But, like I said, something's genuinely different now. My stomach health has, has improved. Which actually means that... Um, and I, I've talked about this before, so I don't want to repeat myself too much, but... It actually means I feel hunger way less severely. It's, it's easier... It's easier to, uh, to push it out of my mind. Or control it with water. Like... People always say, like, oh, you, you just try drinking water. I'd be like, what the fuck? That doesn't do anything. Because the water was bad, and it would just make my stomach more upset, and, and my brain would misinterpret that as, as feeling hungry. Oh, wait, I have to lose this. That's right. Oops. I almost, I almost wrecked this dude without thinking about it. I'm sorry, idiot. So yeah. Part of me is a little bit annoyed where I'm like, oh, this is this is the sensation of hunger that I guess everyone else was feeling all this time. Like, oh, okay, that's more that's manageable. Makes me wonder how many people like just feel or process the sensations differently. Every morning I eat one rock. Not too big, but not a pebble. It curbs my appetite for a while. And it helps you digest all those seeds. Is this for human plus or alternate ending? Uh, neither. There are mission variants and secret missions you can only get to if you fail particular missions the first time. I don't want to eat more seeds. Too bad. Guess what? Guess what we got for dinner? Seeds. 
So now they're supposed to be a crappier. Eliminate base attackers. Ugh, does it show up later? What's happening, Nero? What happened? Why did the other eliminate base attackers not show up? What happened? Okay, this is the mission I was thinking about. You have to fail both the bomber's mission and protect Mirage for this one. Okay. Then I won't worry about it. I'm just gonna move on. I don't think I don't think it's gonna because I'll have to cycle the story mode again for that, I think. Alright, defend Mirage Transport is the next story mission. That's like 18 though. Where am I at right now? Oh yeah, that's that's like 10 missions away. There's only one more hidden mission. Defend Mirage Transport. Main system. Engaging combat. But I think it might be time to just... Clear the factory. It might be time to just uh, maybe take on some of the more... Yeah. You know, I'll, clear, I'll, I'll clear this one, but... I think I'll just scroll through the mission list. Try to pick out some of the more difficult AC-oriented missions that I know I haven't cleared. Take those on. And then uh, we'll call it a wrap. Call it a wrap on this disc. I want to check out the uh, the Revolution disc. I don't know that I'm going to try to play through it all or like extract everything out of it because I kind of already have. I already played those missions. But if it's super fun, and I do like playing through missions with this control type, and, and even this build is a fun build to play around with. Let's see here. Alternate version, as you fight the bombers, you fail to kill in a different AC, so it's cool that your actions actually matter. Yeah, fuck 100 percent in this game. Running through the story really doesn't take that long, I have to admit, but yeah, still it's it's could could be could be kinder. I guess out of all the ways the game could be cruel, that's that's not the worst one. It's definitely had worse ones in the past. played Nine Breaker yet? No. I think that's the next game. Yeah. Which I might get to today. System switch to normal. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how long the second disc enraptures me. But hey, in those moments when you're not enraptured, in those moments where you got some time to kill and maybe you feel like being asked easy, interesting questions about your consumptive habits, why? The sponsor of today's stream has a service for you. Ipsos, I say, offers surveys that you can take to earn points that you redeem on gift cards for services like Subway, Burger King, Domino's, Grubhub, Amazon. You can even get uh, virtual Visa prepaid cards or just deposits to a PayPal account. So if you got some spare time, let the internet know how to sell products to you with Ipsos, I say, and get your fair share of that that fat marketing pile. It's fast and easy. It's free. Like I said, I took a survey of uh, 
online apps and how I interact with them. And I got 75 points for that. So took about 10 minutes, pretty easy. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take a quick break here. Uh, I have a chicken salad waiting for me. So I'm gonna get that chicky salad and then I'm gonna come back, try to bite off some of these chunkier, chunkier missions. Yeah, if it's expensive, it's probably, it's probably difficult. Which is why I need uh, an energy tank filled with chicken fuel. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Really appreciate it. We re ah, we'll be right back with more Armored Core in like 15 minutes. That's the beauty of salads is they're just ready and you just shove them in your face. Be right back. And we're back. And we're back. Oop. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do the expensive ones and hope that they, uh, wait a minute. I can't remember if this one has an AC. If you com <sighs> I don't know. We're I was going to say, what's, what's the difference completing a, a mission in the mission list versus on the map in terms of like ranking arena points? Eh. I won't worry about it anymore. Ooh. GC got your weed stolen by your roommate. Can I get a big rip in chat? That's a rip. Now you know you need a lockbox or something. Retreat. Is this just when Jollibee shows up? I'm never gonna remember his name. This weird bump on the side of my head. Maybe all my brains will come out. <clears throat> Genevieve. Joke's on you, I've already forgotten. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Slash Thighs. Where's Apple Boy? Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal. That's a fun one. Like, it's a. An AC swoops in, but it actually means that you win the mission instead of lose it. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure two ACs come at you at the end of this mission. Main system. Oh, yeah, it's... oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think I just cleared this, though. I'm pretty sure I just I did. Like, I'm going to I seen the new Ace Con or Air yeah, Armored Core Six stuff. I mean the the story trailer. I humble bragged about this before. Energy sources detected. Area secure. Wait, that's it. Why does that one pay out so much? Um, uh, I know things about Armored Core only a select few have ever seen. That's right. I'm gonna turn my fan back on. Maybe. Let's take a look around. We'll find them if they're still here. Oh no, it's thirsty. Oh no, my water! Take care of those Hold on. Before we can retrieve you.
play tomorrow? Okay. Cool. Yes, because you have to take the... Yeah, I remember. 6.45 a.m. All right, then. Sounds good. Cannot unlock it. You betcha. I just want everyone to know that my chicken salad was great. I have a little mineral water here. And life is good. Yeah, this music is thrashing. Leaving combat. Oh, shit. Aborting mission. <laughs> the missiles pushed me out. I'm reconsidering. I'm reconsidering just like pecking for all these individual missions and trying to clear them. Especially when it's gonna be stuff like that where I have to like kill everything in that stupid tunnel and then fly all the way out. And I'm gonna have to scroll through the whole list every time. There were some cool ones that I wanted to, I wanted to beat. I think this is, <clears throat> this is Genevieve. No, it's not. I did beat... I think I beat that one. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. The only mission you should complete for, for sure is the Genevieve boss fight. Yeah, Luminate Crest AC. I agree with that. That seems fair. Maybe I go with two snipers. And just like really keep keep as much distance as I can. He's so mad. I got him to talk. <sighs> Power is a grenade launcher. Yeah, I guess I... Have I tried to use grenade arms yet? Let me try them. Uh, they're not going to fit on this frame, though. I don't think. Sure. Um, I don't need the energy stuff. Our 
range, sure. There aren't any more. Wait, are there any more optional parts? Sure are. Okay. The improving shield seems good. <clears throat> okay. So if I... I feel like if I... If I have an efficient shield, well, no. I was thinking about standing on that building. I'm trying to, I'm trying to mentally attack that and see if there's any, anything going on there. But I, I don't think there is. I think he's just got me. Okay, at least it's at the, it's at least it's near the bottom and it, it like wraps around. So that makes this pretty, pretty nice. And you can skip the cutscene. God bless. Still have to wait for the load, but that's all right. all cramped up. Ooh. You're a boy! Ooh. Dealt with him. Dealt with. That's what happens when you can aim. You can basically abuse, abuse distance. It's awesome. All right, well. Try harder, Miyazaki. Does your do your credits carry over to the well? I'll just boot up the other disc. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I really have any wish lists for parts. Things I should probably buy before the next game. But, eh. All right, allow me to uh, allow me to put in the other game here. The powers of custom firmware. The PS3 really is a fun kit. Once you get it rooted and zooted. Okay. Do you think this is going to have a separate but equally awesome intro video? It's got to, right? What if it has an intro video that's like referential of all the other Armored Core intro videos, but it's been like re-rendered with a slick CG graphics of 2004. Wouldn't that be exciting? I'm trying to remember what that would even look like. I remember some of the PS1 ones, I think. It's mostly just cool Armored Core imagery. Man, two discs. PlayStation 2 games are already coming in two discs. It's 2004. Oh, they didn't say the name of the game. Oh. Ooh, oof. Ooh, okay. Roommate and I got in a fight. She threatened to spray bleach in my face. So I might be moving to, to Vegas soon. Oh, it's got the classic menu. That's amazing. Oh, oh, you got, oh, you got to earn them. That's, that rules. Uh, oh, look at all these, oh, there's episodes. Unlockable illustrations, posters, music. 
Oh, that's awesome. New version of the, the menu theme. Anyway, JC, I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. I'm glad you didn't actually get sprayed in the face with bleach. It sounds like that didn't happen, so that's good. I love when it goes back to that first part. Yeah, see the earlier Armored Core stuff was way more just like acid drum and bass. Just like hyper gritty, grungy, late 90s, dark EDM. I mean, it was awesome. Not not a huge fan of the sort of somber orchestral stuff. Big fan of what they're doing in this game. Oh, man, that's awesome. They even tell you what game it's from. So sick. Okay, good. My robo is here. Dude, I should be able to tear up these missions. Classy intro? Dude. The Great Destruction plunged the world into darkness. Survivors of the horror were forced to un forced underground to escape the ruin left behind. From the ashes of civilization emerged a mercenary organization known as the Raven's Nest. Oh, there's even clips of the old game! Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! Do, 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 do. Workers in the Avalon Valley. Oh, and this has the VO. Demonstrating for better working conditions have taken control. I remember this mission. Yeah, the they first thing you do in Armored Core is like stomp all over a worker oh. protest. Yeah, straight up the first mission. What a like, what a fun thesis statement that has kind of held true for the whole franchise. The very first thing you do is so morally compromised. It's awesome. Oh, that's splished. It splished all over me. I'm so excited. Undermost Corgis. Never seen this game before, but it's already one of my new favorite soundtracks. Yeah. The music in Nexus specifically is amazing, but that that music was actually from Armored Core 1, which is also really good. Brian, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate that. Yeah. Here's to many more months. I feel that way too. All attempts aimed at yeah. persuading. Every day of streaming is a, is a protest have failed. It's a dream come According true. to their representative, they will only negotiate terms with someone from company headquarters. We've made it very But you can make your dreams come true. Negotiations, but unfortunately for them. With gift cards for now, the products and services you like. For all. Earned by filling out surveys. Which you can do with today's sponsor. Ipsos I say. Oh yes. It's a survey uh, service. Once you take a couple of profiling surveys, hashtag sponsor, once you take a couple of profiling surveys, they'll just hit you up with a lot of surveys, like a lot of studies they do, where they ask a bunch of questions about your perceptions on things. You get points with that, and it, with those points, you can redeem uh, PayPal deposits, a virtual online prepaid Visa card, Target e-gift cards, Walmart gift cards, Amazon, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Burger King, To the you can earn, earn, earn it all with your spare time. It actually make, it made me pretty introspective. I was like, hmm. hastily converted made me more intel intellectually re-examine my relationship with advertising and the world around me. But yeah, it's free. They're sponsoring the stream. Check them out. So yes. Click the link to start earning rewards with Ipsos I Say Today. Click. Actually, wait. I just clicked on it and... Uh oh Hold on.
This worked before because it's how I signed up. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes Firefox gets weird. It's fine. Sometimes Firefox gets, gets a little weird. Oh, each mission has three versions getting harder and harder. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Main oh, okay. System. Oh! Engaging Oh, this was above ground? Mission I guess so. I thought it was underground. Yeah, we got a we got a skybox. Also kind of interesting. I think it'll be interesting going back and Ah, uh, okay. Extend side. Does it a different briefing? Flared up throughout Avalon Valley the other day. I guess it is. Control. Accomplishing this required us to divert forces from the East District, leaving it undefended. Murakumo took advantage of the situation and sent one of their strike teams into the area. Were you on your Armored Corps kick before or after news of the new AC yes, came on? Oh, after. Yeah. It does provide us with the perfect opportunity to expose... I think the, the idea is... Conduct. I think what I'm forming this stream up around that checks off a number of perceived boxes is that I want to play like old weird games but I think they have to be loosely related to something that's kind of in the the marketing zeitgeist so I get a little public interest lift off the back of a product that people know about and are curious about I think that's I think that's the plan that's the strat that's the stream positioning but it'll always be like a franchise that I'm really interested to play or a game that I've always wanted to play and just didn't find the time to. And there's always ways to like, there's always connectors, I think, to make. Whether or not that actually gives me any kind of uh, awareness lift. I guess it, I guess that depends on how tenuous the connection is. All right. This isn't a different map. I thought it was going to be the harder version of the last last mission, but I guess not. You can get an emulator on Steam Deck. Yes, you can. I don't know how well they run, but yeah. I'm gonna, going to go for the 100% with System Shock Remake. I don't know about 100%. There's like a... Oh, this is cool. They've added cutscenes to the classic levels. Raven, the enemy has advanced faster than expected. Cool. They're already inside. The whole place is set to blow. Uh, probably not 100%. Definitely gonna go back and finish, though. You have to disarm those bombs. I want to play through System Shock 2 co-op with Bruce. That's my goal. There. Engaging combat. Raven, the bombs are attached to the fuel tank. Be careful disarming. Targets remain. Sure. Four targets remain. Go finish System Shock and Yakuza. Okay. I will. I always thought it was single player. I mean, it is. It largely is, but it does have a co op, an online co op mode. It was never very stable. But it's in there. Community patches and stuff have made it more stable, but I think it's still quite, quite janky. I wonder how much the jankiness might affect the atmosphere of the game. I feel like it's going to be hard to uh, be creeped out if the game's glitching out and you haven't like constantly deal with uh, like crashes or desyncs or something. All targets destroyed. 
destroy. But that remains to be seen. Disarm the Ooh. All right. Warning, AP at 50%. I don't know why that happened. I think I, I disarmed it and then shot it. One target remaining. It is an extra. Yeah, you see one flashbacks. <laughs> Don't know any of the buttons. What the hell is his last one? What the hell? What? Um. This doesn't seem right. Action man, thanks for the sub. Nice work, Raven. Please pray for me. I'm taking the bar exam tomorrow and developed a fever this morning. Oh god. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mission objective. Hopefully it runs its course. System switch to normal mode. But yeah. Ugh. There's no is there no way to like reschedule? There's gotta be like a, a makeup day or something. After successfully turning Murakumo's own plot against them, Chrome went a step further and tarnished the company's image through clever campaign of information manipulation. Chrome's persistence in the matter is a perfect example of the lengths a company is willing to go to in order to succeed. It is this kind of determination that gave rise to the organization. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. Remake, extend side, reverse side. Struggle operatives have incited workers in Avalon Valley to rise up. So I guess they just they take little plot arcs of previous Armored Corps games and have the have the missions around them. Damn, action man! They'll have a hell hell of a story to tell soon. Fever Dream Law Firm. Let's see your struggle operatives. The hope was that Chrome would lash out without any consideration for their actions, and thereby turn the region's populace against them. So far, this hasn't happened. The situation cannot be allowed to drag out in its current state, so we've decided to switch tactics and go on the offensive. If we destroy Chrome's security units, we can expose their vulnerability. Head to the bridge and help the workers accomplish this task. Take care not to injure any workers, as this would reflect poorly on our movement. Mm, 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 mm. You're going to have, like, you're going to be able to drop cred on every lore you ever meet by passing the bar with a fever. Main system, engaging combat mode. Yeah, pretty perfectly equipped for this one. It's kind of hard to beat this build in general now that I can actually aim at things. Because I, I can keep shooting even if I overheat. Mission objective achieved. Uh, it's got to normal mode. decent ammo, decent range, decent damage. And my, uh, my FCS and my arms can hit most everything. So what's there to not like? Okay. De -de -de -de. 15. Okay. De -de -de -de. I want to see these posters. God, this menu is so slick. Oh. Look at that logo. to make the 
the guy go away? Ah. Sick! Man, imagine having one of these in a tasteful frame. I like that black, t or that red text on the bottom. Mm. Ooh. It's kind of a, a bummer they didn't really do this kind of treatment with Soulsborne, but I guess Elden Ring could be seen as that, kind of. <clears throat> a lot of the jail bosses and stuff in that were kind of greatest hits of the Soulsborne, well, just really Souls series. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, this is, this is a lot cooler than I thought it would. Excuse me. A lot cooler than I thought it would be. Defend Submarine. <laughs> I remember when I defended Submarine. Chrome's rapid expansion into territorial waters is becoming a cause for concern. They are not a true threat yet. That will change if their actions go unchecked for much longer. It's an alarming development. Think we'll ever get the Demon Souls remake on PC? Probably eventually. Yeah. The way it seems to me is that Sony has so many studios that they can that they can contract out remakes to, or from, I should say. And they seem to just kind of be going down the list of the games that have sold the best. Uh, it's like games that have sold the best or games that have like promotional timing and, and lean into the franchises that they are developing. So, there's not a lot of reason for them to put out a, the Demon's Souls remake on PC from either of those perspectives. It probably didn't sell that much just because it was a PS5 launch title. But also, it's not, it's just not the kind of game that sells a lot. Elden Ring did, for some reason, it broke through. Um, but it's not like it's gonna be a, you know, 40 million seller, like Spider-Man or uh, Uncharted or something like that. Well, yeah. Ferret King, thanks for gifting a sub to Nomad. Very kind of you. So yeah, I kind of... People bring up Bloodborne a lot, but there's really not a lot of reason for Sony to make a Bloodborne remake either. It really didn't sell that much. Or a PC port for that matter. So it's like, they could do it and it would make people happy and it would sell and it would make money. All those things are true. But if you only have like two studios to do remakes, you're gonna go for the ones that you know have already sold more or will sell more or are timed with you know, they have they have a promotional boost by coming out next to Gran Turismo the film or something like that. Would have been cool if Gran Turismo got ported to PC, but so that they seem to be they seem to have their game locked up pretty tight, and it doesn't seem like Demon Souls or or Bloodborne fit into it that much. Industries has opted to hire an escort to accompany their transport submarine during its next voyage. But I don't know. Sometimes Sony does stuff for the art of it. It seems more and more rare these days, but they do. During this mission, will be to safeguard the submarine against attacks and ensure that yeah. Slashed. Could you imagine a platform that has Forza, Horizon, and Motorsport? Those two games, all like Need for Speed and Gran Turismo, all in one thing. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to just PC being the the true. It's, it's the perfect solution because PC, aside from Microsoft Windows, is not a locked platform. <clears throat> How is Gran Turismo based on a true story? Because the, uh, the program in the movie was real. And the story of somebody coming through that program and becoming a professional race, race car driver was also real. So that's what the movie's about. It's the, the retelling of that story. It is impossible to predict what kind of trouble might be encountered. I remember reading about that when it happened. It was really cool. Your AC as best you see fit. I think there was a game gamesindustry.biz article kind of telling telling the story. How oh, I need to add flute guy? I should. <clears throat> That's a pretty good E3 Darkness moment. Detected off the stern. It's so weird because like Sony actually did a pretty good job, I think, of making a 
making an event that was different and unique and matched the energy of the game and wasn't just the same old like hype trailer fest because they did last of us as well and there was a sad guitar song uh so i thought they did a pretty good job of trying to come up with like of what a new games conference might look like us from submerging but people made fun of them watch our back until repairs are complete remember this one take care around the water your ac can't be recovered if it falls in look at how easy it is Yeah, that's the other thing, is sometimes people like to make fun of <clears throat> Sony's more esoteric marketing, but people still talk about it, and people remember it. Now, I don't know if that converted into sales, but... <gasps> Why did you do that? Ooh. That happens a lot of the... Well, I don't know that Sony intended for Flute Guy to be, like, mocked. Meme memery mocked, but some of the other times they've done like bizarre marketing, and people are just like, "Why the why the heck did Sony do that? So dumb!" But then they keep bringing it up and they keep talking about it. Sony's weird David Lynch commercials. Yeah, Exothea, just, just playing these remake missions is, is a breeze. It's just a complete walk in the park. Now that I can look around and, and have a build like this and have it be viable. I mean, a lot of the missions in Nexus, it, or it felt like this would have been hard if I couldn't actually look around. The repairs are almost complete. Hang in there. We're preparing to dive. Please head back. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Didn't Trey Baker also sing in the same conference that had Flute Guy? Yeah, he did a Last of Us uh, performance, right? A sad guitar song? I think that might have been the problem, is that uh, it was a sad guitar song and a sad flute song. And there wasn't really like a host or a framing device. It was just a performance and then another performance. Or maybe there was a host. Just received a new mission request. A client is seeking our help capturing a remote ocean mining platform. Long thought to have been abandoned. Ships belonging to one of Chrome's subsidiaries, RNG Industries, have been spotted plying the surrounding waters with increasing frequency. The most recent sighting was a military transport sub. Initial indications are that the mining platform is being converted into a military outpost by RNG Industries at Chrome's behest. It seems that recent conflicts have put all involved on edge. Murakumo's concern is the shift in power that will occur if the platform's conversion goes unchecked. Your objective is to eliminate all security elements stationed at the platform. Their full strength is un- I remember- <clears throat> I remember these briefings. Basically just kind of tuning out until they tell you what you actually need to do. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it had a barn with Troy Baker singing uh, I, what I'm going to assume was the sad guitar song, the motif from Last of Us Part 2. If I ever lose you, whatever it was. I don't know. Every time Ellie pulled out that guitar, I was, I checked out further and further. Main system. Engaging combat. Was it? I don't know if it was that song, though. Trey Baker's a really good musician. Though. His album is good. It's like, it's music that I kind of like, too. It kind of reminds me of, like, Robert Palmer.
Yeah, I remember Troy Baker and Nolan North had their own thing. Like a retro gaming show. I went to a live show for it because Alana DJ'd the opening of it. Retro something. I think Rooster Teeth was trying to partner with them. Maybe? Oh, there's turrets down there. Awesome. Huh. Retro replay, that's the one. Scenes are a nice addition. Seems like they brought back the, uh, they brought back the classic AI a little bit. I have to shoot this guy. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Warning, KP at 50%. Yeah, I'm trying not to get shot for a second. All right. <sighs> okay. Target is there. Jeez. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. All right, well, that one was a little thick, a little dense. It's kind of the worst scenario, though. Like, I only have a postage stamp that I can stand on, and they float, so they're just hovering everywhere. God, could you imagine trying to do that without being able to look? Periodic report. Murakumo's top executives have decided that attacks could be launched on Chrome installations bordering the company's territorial waters. Level of conflict in the congested region is expected to intensify during the coming days. All right. All right. Oh, they had a big disagreement on an episode and then said, isn't it nice we can have an argument like that and keep the show going? Less than a month later, Troy left. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, that's a shame to hear. What did they disagree about? They have wildly differing opinions on what retro games were good. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Is this the intro? It is! This is great because I was actually, I wanted to capture the videos of all of the armored cores for MediaTek. And I played some of them off of physical disc and stuff that I didn't have anymore. I've sent that out to viewers. I was like, ah, but this is it. This is ideal. Now I can capture this directly off my PS3. It even looks like it's been like upscaled. It's definitely better quality than it was on the PlayStation 1. I don't know if they didn't really have upscaling back then, so all I can figure is that they had a higher quality version of the video that they that they must have like encoded for the CD and then they re-encoded for the DVD. So cool. 
How many have I played so far? How many Armored Core games? Ooh, I'd have to look at the list. Let's see. Awesome. Absolutely rad. So let's see here. One, two. This is the eighth game. So I've played through seven. Although, this is the second disc of the eighth game. I don't know if that counts. It looks like it's gonna have the intros for all of them up to this point. Mercenary. Mercenary. Yeah, seems like it. Good stuff. Man, Nexus is awesome. Chrome's artificial island. Chrome and Murakumo, the two most powerful corporate entities in the subterranean world. Their initial struggles for control escalated into full-blown warfare. Oh, it's only one. Wait, this is one out of three. Never mind. Never mind. The target of this mission is a chrome gun emplacement. The gun emplacement's construction site is located in an ocean buffer zone on the fringes of Murakumo territory. Repeated warnings to halt construction have been completely ignored. That's always super fun when chrome developers include bonus content from the de development process as goodies after the fact, like concept art. Animatics strike. and things like that. Love that shit. No Interviews. Use force. We're counting on you, Raven. Reminds me, I gotta dig into all the the fresh uploads from Noclip. Entering target area. Deploying AC. Oh, I remember this level. I'm gonna ah. There's no point in saying that. But I do remember it. This was a cool one. Target detected to the southwest. Range 500. Achieved. System switch to normal mode. <clears throat> I've seen headlines and stuff about my house. Wad. I haven't played through it myself though. I do need to. That is my kind of thing. I love it when uh, people use uh, game tools as like interactive experiences. Chrome is planning an attack on the gun emplacement we captured a few days ago. They must be stopped. According to our reports, they intend to bombard the emplacement using heavy explosives dropped from high-flying bombers. They seem prepared to accept the facility's destruction. The defenses in place at site are not fully operational yet, and there is no way they can bear the full brunt of an all-out assault. We need your help to destroy the bombs before they hit. Also, it's very likely the attack will consist of more than just a few high-altitude bombing runs. Stay on your toes and be prepared to deal with the unexpected. The mission will be called off and the gun emplacement abandoned should it sustain excessive levels of damage. We trust that your presence will ensure this doesn't happen. It's clear we can expect further confrontations with Chrome in the future. Our battles won't end here. This is why we need to take a stand now and consolidate our gains. I don't care. I don't care about you. Just pay me. Man. We ain't friends. Man, these cutscenes are so good. I did not expect there to be introductory cutscenes added to all the old missions. That's that's the best. The remade soundtrack? It's just so much effort. For Name releasing system. three armored Name cores in this year. All these stupid bombs. How am I supposed to know? Oh!
Did I ever upgrade my radar? I think I just have the basic radar. I should do that. <laughs> Second and oh, Jesus. Approaching. are definitely lower. What's the word? What? Take out the lead car before it reaches the facility. Which side is it coming from? I think I think I see it. Okay. Yeah, it's happening. Mission objective achieved. Oof. System switch to normal mode. Oh, is it bad? Oh, so he's blaming her for not knowing? Sorry, Steph. Steph's catching me up on drama. It's some to Topo Chico, yeah. Raven, this is an urgent request. One of our newly constructed gun emplacements is being subjected to a vicious attack. The defense okay. perimeter is already in shambles. Uh, Vanderpump Rules Before drama. From the battlefield catching. We, over the last couple of months, have watched the whole series and are up to series, or season 10, which is the most dramatic drama bombs ever. So she's, she's giving me downloads from across the house of what's going on. Sooner or later, we'll have to stand against Murakumo, so we might as well gain the upper hand now. This isn't simple. We got some infidelity, y'all. We got some scandals. Continued survival. Your objective is to eliminate all forces engaged in the attack. Work quickly, Raven. That is all. Topo Chico has a hard seltzer flavor that tastes exactly like Skittles. Well, they do ranch water, which is really good. Main system. Engaging combat mode. A huge fan of that. Look at how overpowered I am now. This is ridiculous. Yeah, duplicitous pieces of shit. Infidelity. Ah, uh, truly is hard to beat. Yeah.
ranch water is basically, it's just uh, tequila and soda, I'm pretty sure. And maybe a splash of grapefruit. But I think it's, I think it's just like a vodka soda, but with uh, tequila. Battery destroyed. So, tequila. Battery destroyed. Dude. Raven, do something. That's the last of them. Nice work, Raven. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Not ranch dressing soda, no. Jones soda does have a ranch dressing flavor, but no. Uh, ranch water is a, it's like a, it's like a ranch with cows on it. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> yes, that gift perfectly describes the, uh, the ace combat experience. Hold on. <laughs> I have to, I have to swap my inputs over just to show that. Yeah, hold on a minute. <sighs> Just always turning the little square. <laughs> and just the little pew, pew, pew. Little dude is just always out of the frame of the camera. Just picking away at you. Uh, it's too good. That's too good. You know what? While I've got this hooked up, look at all these fabulous prizes you can get by signing up for today's sponsors. Ipsos, I say, look at this. See, I got my forty, my seventy-five stars. I'm uh, I'm fiending on this down here. I'm just gonna get my PayPal money. I'm gonna walk away with it. Smooth segue, huh? Yeah. Use the Ipsos command. Click the link. Start earning rewards with Ipsos, I say today. Okay. Technically, the sponsored portion of the stream is done, but still click on the link. All right, let's get back into Armored Core. It's free money. It sells itself. That was a good meme, though. Thank you. AI. Halfway to a $5 gift card? It's free money. Yeah, JC, you can fill out... You can fill out surveys and then use that to replace the weed you lost. The engineer responsible for developing the technology used in these management systems was, although unwittingly, responsible for much of the discord between corporate rivals. I guess so. <clears throat> you can, uh... <clears throat> you can sell fluids and while you're waiting in the lobby, fill out some surveys. A problem has occurred at power plant number 7, located in Isaac City. Due to a security system error, the plant's unmanned worker robots are now functioning. Most have already been captured or destroyed, but some of them were able to enter sensitive areas of the facility. Thus far, there have been no major accidents, but that could change at any time. Given the delicate nature of this operation, only an experienced... Oh, there's a first-person mode? Your mission is to destroy all I wonder if the targeting is different in first person mode. Like if it's actually crosshair locked to the middle of the screen. Under no circumstances are the generators located in the power plant to be damaged. Doing so could lead to catastrophic results. Proceed with caution and choose your targets wisely. Yeah, Metal Wolf Chaos is pretty similar to Armored Core, isn't it? I was thinking that. <clears throat> I never played all the way through Metal Wolf Chaos, but maybe it should be part of the men of the Armored Corathon. Not that I'm gonna have time. <laughs> Excuse me. Main system. Combat. Raven, the Look at them all running! Down 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 what? This is different. They're all panicked. <laughs> oh, look at them! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid little idiot. Uh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I thought I was clever and I used melee on this, but then my AC just slashed through the first thing he saw. Everything exploded. Good times in Armored Core. Oh my gosh, they make little wobbly sounds when they're running around. Click, 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 click. <laughs> they kind of remind me of serve bots. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. Five targets remain. Yeah, I still have my motorcycle. Smoking onion. It's still it's still a great way to get around LA. Man, I love it. Rank E. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Raven, do you copy? The generators may explode if damaged. Please be careful. John Madden. Yeah, Nomad, you can you can legally lane split in California, which means you can drive between lanes. Legally, you're only supposed to be able to split between the leftmost and the second to leftmost lanes. I guess they get tired of running around after a while. Uh, but yeah, it's dangerous. I really only do it when traffic is slow, uh, which makes it less dangerous. There's a world of difference between cruising through cars that are barely moving on a freeway and just flying at like 70 miles an hour past cars that are only going 40 or something like that. So I usually play it pretty safe. Oh, it's legal because it's so hot, bikes without radiators would overheat. I did not know that. That's really interesting. Yeah, I guess you need wind moving over the bike to keep it cool, huh? That's really, really interesting. I thought it was just uh, the state of California being unusually chill <laughs> about personal safety. Ever do it the way Trinity does in The Matrix Reloaded? Well, like turn my bike under a semi? No. I c People can't fit under those things. <laughs> maybe. If you were, like, sliding, maybe, but damn. Those have to be, like, specialty trucks. Or I guess they... I don't know. Maybe they were digital. It was still cool as hell, though. Now, Trinity does some, some sick motorcycle shit. Things that I didn't really appreciate until I rode a motorcycle. Um... There's some pretty outrageous motorcycle stuff going on in Matrix Reloaded. One target remaining. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yeah, I have not I have not weaved through oncoming traffic on the freeway in California. <laughs> not yet. Another situation has developed at power plant number seven. The facility's main control system has malfunctioned, and now our monitoring stations are registering alarming temperature spikes. The employee who was in charge of maintaining the control system has disappeared. Yeah, overheat time. I he mm. intentionally sabotaged it. Why well, have a poison swamp when it can be a hot swamp? Probably his doing as well. Not only did this individual design most of the plant's systems. He was also one of our most promising AI research scientists. Oh yeah, Borg Ninja. I have I wear gear. Steph got me a really good riding jacket uh, that has like has like metal weave, uh, and like I can feel the chainmail in parts of it, and then it's got pretty thick pads on the back and the spine. 
It's got big old bulbs on the shoulder. It looks futuristic as hell. She did a great job. Uh, it's a great, great gift. It also has an insert that I can like put in and take out. So if it's really hot, uh, basically wind goes right through it, which is super, super cool. And then it has a lining, which goes a long way, but often isn't quite enough, especially for biking around California at night. Because it is a desert and it can get down to like 40 degrees. So having like 40 degree wind blowing over you at highway speeds is cold as shit. There's, there's definitely been some real mind over matter, like legs completely numb when I get back home moments. But it's all like superficial. It's never given me frostbite or anything like that. All of our attempts to deal with these needs have failed. We have these gas wall heaters. This is an old house, but there's like wall units basically that are, are heaters. Uh, and I'll just like stand in front of one, just kind of like waiting for feeling to come back into my uh, my arms and legs. It's usually my legs, really. I guess it's because I'm, I'm only wearing jeans. And then I need to get a new helmet because it gets drafty in there and then my face gets really cold. The control system is located in the back. And man, gotta help you if you have like Shut a... If cold makes your nose run, because then it'll like... You can't really wipe it while you're driving. So you just have this like permanent wet upper lip while cold air is circulating around. Target detected to the north. Range five hundred. I've never really had to sneeze while wearing a motorcycle helmet. I'm so grateful for that. There's a couple times I got really close. Like, I could feel the itch and it was really bad. And my, uh, my nose would, like, start running and my eyes would water. Having watery eyes is pretty bad on a bike. One thing that's kind of annoying for me is that the gloves I have can't interact with a, uh, a screen. But then Google Maps will often be like, Hey, buddy! Guess what? I found you a, new, a better path! It's better! Do you want to take it? And then it'll just sit there. It'll just sit there with a suggested path, which is not better, because I can lane split. But it doesn't know that. So I'm just like, staring at it with bloodshot eyes, while it completely changes my navigation away from the thing. So, so really what I've had to do is just like, kind of old school. Whenever I'm going somewhere, I just look at a map. I'm like, okay, this highway to this highway to this highway. All right. Just in case it decides to switch it up on me. I'm going to get new gloves soon. The Velcro on one of my gloves completely wore off, so it doesn't even really stay closed anymore. So I get to break in some new gloves. It's going to be sad because those were my, like, those were my first gloves. And they were so comfortable. Do I blow it up or do I use it? System shutdown confirmed. What? What? Raven, the temperature isn't dropping. Get out of there now. Uh. AP at 50%. You got new yard work gloves now? Yeah, I guess I do. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah, I can just cut the uh, cut the Velcro straps off and use them as work gloves. Hey, you made me feel a lot better about that. Thank you, Bill. I get I get sentimentally attached to things. I don't know why. Things that have stuck around for a while. I guess going back to, uh, to my deep thoughts about being of value and that generating worth I have a great affinity for like tools and and physical objects that I use for a long time and don't break have you been offered a membership in a biker gang yet absolutely not uh, I mean the 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 uh, the dealership that I bought the bike from they organize rides so they'll have groups get together and they'll just buzz around LA and go to like cool spots. 
Go up and down the coast, which I have yet to do. I'm a bad bike owner. Hey, Ansem. Yeah, also my bike's ele electric. And it's more of a street bike than it is like a, a Harley or a, a rider. I mean, I guess there are street bike gangs, but... Chemical Dyne, a pharmaceutical firm affiliated with Chrome, is researching secret military technologies as a means to counter Murakumo's Human Plus experiments. Threatened, Murakumo instituted plans to disrupt the work. Tales from Armored Corvus. From the ACU. Raven. We'd like you to join a team we're putting together. We'd like you to join a team I'm putting Kevin together. Regarding research being carried out at a chemical dying lab located in the East District. Seen the Busa boys around town? They all ride Hayabusa's? Oh, okay. That's fun. Now there's there's a lot of there's a lot of automotive shit going around in LA. Street takeovers are kind of a problem. And actually, uh what is it? Uh further down south. Uh, more South Bay than I am, even though I'm pretty South Bay. I think like Inglewood area. I mean, let me see if I can. Yeah, like down in Torrance and Long Beach, there's a ton of just like street street shops and and auto body places and chop shops and stuff. I went down there for some automotive work for on my bike actually. I had to get a new motorcycle tire, and uh, th that place was recommended. But yeah, just cruising up and just cruising around the neighborhoods down there. There's tons of like low rider cars and people just kind of like cruising around and test driving things. So we're kind of on the we're kind of on the edge of like real real tuner car culture in LA. Uh, that said, uh, there have been some takeovers in the streets around here. There's an intersection around here that has like fresh donut uh, rubber on it. Just like thick black street <laughs> thick black ropes. Thick black streaks just twirling, twirling, twirling around. It's fun because you can, like, you can see the peel-outs and then just kind of replay in your mind the car as it's spinning around. Your role during the mission will be to create a diversion while the survey team gains access to the lab. We'd like you to accomplish this. Anyway, it's bad, though. It doesn't affect me. Um, I think it's cool because it doesn't affect me at all. But yeah, it's become a problem. That's like the latest cops and robbers in LA, really, is I think uh, car gangs doing street takeovers where they just, like, shut down the roads and then basically just spin donuts and, and do drag races on particular streets they opened uh they opened that bridge west of la that's been featured in some gratuity shots of la i think it was an ambulance but as soon as they did that suddenly the the car crews came out to take it over <laughs> and we're doing drag races on it and shit and the cops would chase them and it's pretty awesome They tend to they tend to televise car chases in LA, so it's a good time. Main system engaging combat. Is it these? to talk about me blowing up these things, but I don't know if I actually need to. But yeah, having a bike is, is pretty invaluable for lane splitting, but really? The secret hidden superpower of having a motorcycle in a city like this is parking. Because you can put them pretty much anywhere. I get really self-conscious about it because I never want to like be in the way of anything uh or i, I definitely don't want to like get towed but 
I've seen other motorcyclists pretty much just stash their bikes wherever they'll fit. Even on like a sidewalk or something like that. And it doesn't seem to be a, an issue too much. It's not that aggressively policed, it doesn't seem like. Enemy reinforcements detected to the northwest. So I don't know. To me, it's like, it's the equivalent of just having like a a scooter or something in a European city, except it's America, so a scooter doesn't quite cut it. A scooter's not going to get me to Disneyland and back. But luckily, my bike just about does that. Well, not just about. It does do that, but it's like... It ends at like 10% battery. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'd rather have someone who rides a bike take up a car spot than some asshole parking over the line and taking up two or three spots? Yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, hey, look at you. AC part acquired. That's kind of how I think about it. As if, like, if my lane splitting or whatever gets on anyone's nerves, I mean, I, I like to think I'm a pretty considerate lane splitter. I know there are bike, there are cyclists who are not, uh, but I do my part. I go slow. I try not to freak anyone out. I mean, I, I have a silent bike, so I can't even like brap brap in people's ears, even if I wanted to. But but I like to think that whatever annoyance there might be because of me being on a bike is completely offset. Because hey, I'm not in a car. I would be a whole big car. I wish people. I think people largely have learned not to pay attention to buses, but man, I think that way about buses. Each one is like 30 cars that aren't there. Your motorcycle have storage compartments, or does Steph have a car for grocery trips or things like that? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Steph has a car for that. Because, yeah, there's a little cubby in it, but it's not nearly enough to get groceries or anything. There are bikes that have saddlebags and things like that. <clears throat> but no, that makes it a bit challenging to pick up shipments and things. If uh, if any if anyone sends things to my post office box. But the good news there is that... What the? I swear to God, I cleared this out. Um, nice work, Raven. Post office is within walking distance. Motorcycles are scary as a driver, but every time they pass me, I always go, yay, like they beat me in a race or something. <laughs> They're off to stop a terrorist somewhere. Wish I had a top box to store my helmet in sometimes, but man, they are lame as fuck. Oh yeah. What's a top box? Is it like just a big compartment on the on the back of the, the bike? Mission objective achieved. System switch <clears throat> to normal mode. Oh, you lock your helmet to the front wheel? Smart. I use a helmet lock and I just put it through the uh, the clasp on my helmet. If somebody wanted to, they could cut the like the strap and take my helmet, but that doesn't help anybody. What do you what is your rank? Do you get Repeated attacks. Is it time or damage taken? In the East District has left it without adequate security and prompted us to relocate the entire operation. Okay, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah, those are pretty lame. <laughs> Transports carrying sensitive materials. And things that are big enough to not fit into my cubby are probably. Well, I guess a larger box would help a little bit for specific things. Uh. I the next transport scheduled get most of my groceries through sure. Hungry Root, the cargo which is kind of a delivery company. Intercepted. Accompany the transport and make sure no harm comes to it. Under no circumstances will the details of this mission ever be discussed with any outside party. Is this clear? I should write to them and ask them if, if I can shill for them. Unflipping? Says Earth Defense Force. I agree. Yes. Earth Defense Force. Mm hmm. Gaming. Yeah. My girlfriend has been talking about getting a motorcycle. It sounds cool, but I always think about my friend who got in an accident on his bike, like right when he first got it. Squad. Yeah. Your fire on the they're they're scary. 
They are dangerous. Don't let it reach the other side of the bridge. I got in an I've been in two accidents, actually. And one of them was, was body altering. I, I have like a permanent injury from my first Main one. System. Engaging combat. So it's uh It's scary, it's dangerous, you're not you're not in a nice metal cage if any if slash when anything happens. And you're you're more likely to be ignored. It's just like it's not a winning proposition all around. But I have a bike, so I can't lecture anyone on it. Just gotta do my due diligence. Make sure that people are afraid. I do kind of have a little ritual where I, I remind myself to be afraid every time I get on my bike. Like, kind of repeat certain mantras to myself. My goal is to get there, not to get there fast. I don't know, little things like that. Enjoy the ride. It's just the difference of a few minutes. Just kind of repeating all those things. Let other, let everyone else go first. I was... It was really good training for me because I spent a couple of years on a bicycle in Los Angeles. And on a bicycle, you can't, like, you can't... You're not faster than anyone. You're not, uh... More react reactive than anyone. You won't beat anyone in any kind of priority fight. So, your job is to just get where you're going smoothly and safely. And a lot of that involves just simply not being in anyone else's way. So, a lot of the times you sacrifice time for safety on a bicycle. And that's exactly what you should do on a motorcycle as well. I've had too many family members uh, and friends pass while on a bike. My mother would probably write me out of the will if she caught me on a bike. It sounds like it's, uh, it's affected your, your life pretty significantly. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Ugh. So your chemical dine was responsible for making significant contributions in resolving food shortages, which plagued the underground world. But more recently, the company has been involved with special weapons research and development. A few days after an unidentified transport passed through Gal City, citizens were besieged by an unknown organism. Ah, the song has broken loose. So yeah, I'm worried about getting... Uh, I don't think you get movies or illustrations based on rank. I think you get parts. I don't care too much about parts, as sacrilegious that might be. I want the movies. I want the posters. I want the illustrations. Uninterrupted operation of a nearby lab complex. If the warehouse is destroyed, research at the lab will grind to a halt. Chemical Dime is a legitimate corporation involved in groundbreaking research. However, there are those who are envious of the progress we've made and continually scheme against us. It must be made clear to these aggressors. God, that's an amazing Evo. Such as mustard? Yeah. Or mayo, excuse me. Head to the warehouse a big old mayo squirt. Ugh. We urge you to conduct this mission with the utmost caution. The fuels stored in the warehouse are extremely volatile, and all it would take is one stray shot to set them off. Our company's survival rests in your hands. Okay, these There's are no these are waste. more like what I was expecting, which is like every cluster of missions is just the same map. And then they give you the couple of remixes that they did. Main system. Want to drive a car in the LA spillways? Me too. The LA River? What a cool, what a cool thing that is. Oops! I don't think I'm supposed to shoot those. I didn't know this. The LA River was a river. Like, it's called the LA River because it straight up is slash was a real river. They just kind of, like, replaced it all with concrete. And have, and now, like... And I guess all the... Since it was a river, then I guess all of LA drains into it like it used to. They just kind of converted it into the infrastructure of the city. I didn't know that. I thought that was just part of like the the like facade of Los Angeles. Is that the only the only water structure here is just a giant man-made concrete duct. But no, nah, it's a whole thing. It's pretty cool to see it like actually full too. Cuz since all of LA drains into it, it actually it actually gets pretty sloshy. There's a lot of water in there sometimes. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, right? No, no. Eric Split. And I thought it was I thought it was always funny uh, referencing the LA River and then it's just this big concrete thing that you can drive a car inside. But to me it was it truly was like the most LA thing. But there's some history here. Well, I don't know if that counts as history, but I mean there is history. Not all of it good. I did like how in season two of Perry Mason, they were kind of digging more into the the events of, uh, of Los Angeles. They did a, like a a, para, or a parallel for the events around the construction of Dodger Stadium, where they basically just kicked a bunch of, of Mexican families off of their land. Oh, I thought we were done. Kind of an interesting problem now where a lot of people in LA love the Dodgers, but then it's also like, well, they did do some fuck or the franchise has done messed up stuff specifically to Mexican American families. So it's like people that are that are really into it in the history are like, ah, you can't support them. But they do. <laughs> they do, so whatever. The Doyers. Do any of y'all know why they're called the Dodgers? Well, they weren't based in LA before. Ow, shit. Did he blow up my other gun? There it goes. Danger, danger, 10%. Why is this they're not dying? What the hell? Defense is damaged. Combat. What the hell is this? I wonder if my EO was not hitting. Oh, the trolley dodgers from Brooklyn. Okay. Kicking brown people off their land is an American pastime, just like baseball. I agree. Raven, the fuel it fits, even if it's speed, dark. We urge you to conduct our company's survival rest. Main system. Engaging combat. Well, there is a cable car in Los Angeles. Also featured in Perry Mason. Angel's Flight. Which is open. Steph and I went on the Angel's Flight. We have multiple times. You know what's awesome? You can you can ride the Angel's Flight with your LA City uh, Metro Tap card. It's only a dollar. It lasts like five minutes, and it's the equivalent of going up like two flights of stairs. <laughs> Ugh. But whatever, it's there. We got it. The sights and sounds of Los Angeles. It's right in front of Grand Central Market, so it's actually it's actually pretty quaint. And Grand Central Market is basically like Blade Runner. Just a bunch of stalls, a lot of activity and commotion, a bunch of weird people. You can get noodles. I like how this mission just involves going back and forth between two rooms. Yep. Yeah. The, the Bradbury building. Uh, where Blade Runner was filmed is right here. I've been in there multiple times. I went to a Blade Runner themed dinner party <laughs> in the Bradbury building. I can't walk out.
defense is damaged, halting combat and returning to base. Yeah, maybe I need a back weapon now. God, that's annoying. Raven, the fuel reserve chemical, it must be, we urge you to our company's survival. Main system, engaging combat. already. Damn. I think I, mm, I think I probably need to just conserve ammo versus trying to uh, this is be cute. So little, so little ammo now. Yeah. Wow. God, can't even kill one of those guys. This is it's one of those kinds of missions, huh? Yeah, that EO must do no damage then. Yeah. Mm. God, fucking fuck! God! There's like, you can't dodge. Dobbs Blunder. Thank you for the sub. His name was Stobbs. Stobbs Blunder. You got your munchies money? Nice. Danger. 
defenses damage, halting combat and returning to base. Uh. Yeah, maybe I need a... Uh... Oh, you didn't get Munchie's money. Oh, okay. It took a second after I'd finished all the profiling surveys for it to start populating with... Uh... With point-earning opportunities. I'm going with this one. We'll see how this works. Because I only have to kill the, like... Struggle operator. Oh, wait. No. Oh, it reset. There we go. Okay. The fuel chemical, it must be... We urge you to our company's survival. <sighs> yeah, maybe we can just go back to the trusty and just DPS it. Kill it before it kills me. Main system. Engaging combat mode. I guess I have my cheaper head. <laughs> Does one shot? One shot doesn't kill them. Okay, two shots does. Look at these clowns. They don't know what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm the smart one and they're the stupid ones. Yeah, Walter, that's the one thing that I I couldn't quite understand. Every time you click on something, it opens a new tab. Yeah, before I knew it, I had like five tabs open. I was like, what? Oh. I love it. I love it so much. It's going to be so worth it for that video. Oh, music soundtrack. Also worth it. All right. I've got to take another quick restroom break. I'll be right back, folks. Hey, thanks everybody for watching so far. Really appreciate it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Ready to go to the underground city. From Armored Core. Had to do a little uh, coordinating about some travel in the near future. Going to FanFest, Las Vegas, later this week. Very excited.
And the week after that, I'm going to San Diego. Sunny San Diego. I'm not convinced it's real. It's a fun city. But it's like, it's so utterly um, ephemeral. It's uh, superficial. You can do whatever you want in Vegas as long as you have money. We want you to wreak havoc in Gal City. This will be a very straightforward assignment. Simply find targets of opportunity and destroy them at will. In our experience... So Steph looked up a couple of... Total annihilation. The first thing they wacky restaurants to check out. Them. We here at Chrome are more than happy to oblige. You have three minutes to carry out the task. Remaining in the area any longer than this invites unnecessary risk. Good luck and have fun. Yes, I'm going to FanFest. Main system engaging call. Oh, I'm still the I'm still the robot. Oh well. I guess I'm supposed to wreak havoc. Can I stomp on this? Uh. Not anything to my enemies or anything. What kind of wacky restaurants? Uh, one is in a, a psychedelic Italian restaurant. Excited to go there. There's a distillery called Lost Spirits. They actually used to have a place in LA, but I guess it burned down and they just couldn't reopen. But uh, it's kind of a distillery that. AC pilot surrender immediately. Uses science to make cool new we boozes. You resist. Always love cool new boozes. Uh, <clears throat> there's a tiki bar. I think I think Golden Tiki out there. Got reservations to go there. That's more like classic Vegas, though. Like it still smells like cigarettes. So a little bit of the new and the glitz, a little bit of the old and the grime. Was that the science bar for MediaTek? No. I know that was, uh, well, there's a couple of different science bars in MediaTek. One of them was a tasting experience and the other was a bar called Alchemy in London. I think there are multiple alchemies in London, though. Now that I think about it. Uh-oh. That is here. Call out New Vegas. Well, we're going to pass Prim on the way. Cannot move. What? Jeez. I am almost out of, uh, out of ammo completely. It's, cr it's crazy, uh, it's that crazy OP rank 2 AC from the first game that got dumped on you early on. Yeah, I think I just had to run from it the whole time and wait for the timer to run out. Yeah. So Jorge understands. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. It's uh the drive back from from Vegas to LA is on the edge of a knife. Cause it's just like a two-lane road across the whole desert. And if anything goes wrong, it all grinds to a stop. I have to switch switch out my build here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh yeah, the Tesla tunnel is in the hyperloop is in Vegas. Corporation is currently putting together an assignment that might interest you. The mission's objective is the liquidation of Dr. M. Okamura. We'd appreciate your assistance. Dr. Okamura is a leading authority in the field of genetic engineering and one of Murakumo's top. Well, the Hyperloop is not the boring company? No? 
Morikumo's expertise in the field of genetic engineering is due solely to Dr. Remember when Elon sold flamethrowers that had Boring Company logos on them? They, they didn't do anything? Oh yeah, they have the orb now! I should go check out the orb. Yeah, I'll go look at the orb. I wonder if the I wonder if the orb's visible from the strip. I think it is, right? An intensive search conducted by our scouts has finally pinpointed the doctor's location. He's under heavy guard at a Murakumo stronghold located in Jerera City. In order for our assassins to reach Dr. Okamura, we first have to take care of the remote homing missiles that patrol the area. Use the mission God. location's rooftop as your vantage point for targeting the missiles. Good luck. These big chunky missiles. Main system, engaging combat mode. Take out the missiles! I still didn't upgrade my radar. Yeah. Damn it! Right, well, I guess we're doing okay. God damn it! Uh, God, uh, the targeting quirks are so weird. Because it's like you target in a cone, so if something's next to you, it's actually really, really impossible to get in your target. remember a cool dude's help showing up to help. I mean, he is cool, though. This dude is cool as hell. I want to emote at them. Yeah. And the AC shows up that helps? Unprecedented. This is such a cool skybox. But oh, okay. There it is. Never mind. Oh, come on. Aborting mission. Ugh. Shut up with that shit. Of course it turns into a random uh, boss fight. Of course it does. What's frustrating is they basically have the same build that I do. An intensive search conducted in order for out use the mission location's rooftop as your Man, are we already doing missions where it's like 
main system. Where there's like a long Engaging part at the combat. beginning just to get to a hard fight. Take out the missiles. That's gonna take a lot of tweaking and building. I don't know about that. I don't wanna do that. Is the greatest hits from the old game. That's true. Guess there's no way around it. I think I need to be closer during the encounter and just out DPS as usual. Luckily, uh, I have two guns and I think they have one. So, simple math should be on my side. It looks like they're on our side. Continue your mission. Yeah, under most corgis. I play white mage. That's pretty much it. I have not played a single other class in my entire time. Oh! Flame. In uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Switching to primary objective. Oh, primary objective. But yeah, I've uh, I've streamed playing fourteen quite a uh, maybe not quite a bit, but a fair amount on the channel. I've been doing the raid raid series. Did I get close? I don't know. It was... I don't know. Hmm. Our corporation is currently putting awesome. You can just skip the briefing. Hell yeah. The radar. What does that mean? Main system. Oh, too, well, it, it doesn't... Mode. I see what you mean. It doesn't matter for this level. Take out the missiles. <sighs> I just don't want to move. Ugh. Our corporation's Dr. Okamura is a Morikumo's ex an intensive search conducted. Ah, uh, JC's redeemed a real card. You're stacking all kinds of progress tonight. I think it'll have to wait until Main after. System. Yeah. Oops. Combat mode. Hold on a minute. There we go. This is good card drawing music. Let's draw a card. Wait. Isn't your uh, your address might be changing soon? But let's see. And it's. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. This one. What do we got? Oh. Donkey Kong in a cage, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's rare. Amazing. Donkey Kong. Okay, it's just Donkey Kong's card then. Oh yeah, that's right, because he wasn't in he wasn't playable in Donkey Kong Country 2. So poor Donkey Kong. Chained. Tragic. Height six feet. Weight 450. Turn-ons. Relaxing on the beach, banana milkshakes. Turn-offs. Well, for one, being kidnapped really bites. Favorite quote, I have but 99 lives to give for my country. Oh, Donkey Kong country, okay. 
Favorite video, King Kong. Okay, favorite song, the Banana Boat song. You know, Deo. Sure. I don't think that's the Banana Boat song. The Banana Boat is like... That's for the sunscreen. Anyway, tips and tricks. DK left a trail of bananas for you to follow. If you get lost in a stage, follow the Yellow Fruit Road. Can do. Oh, it is called the Banana Boat song? Okay. Oh, Mr. Wilson Volleyball has redeemed VIP or ban. Fantastic. Oops. Wait, what is that? No, don't do that. I think that just shows my roof. Yeah. That was the wrong thing. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Because I've got to uh, take care of my records. So you're just going to have to wait in rapt anticipation. What could it be? Could be anything. Literally anything. Gosh. There's this weird bug in the back end. Anyway, nobody cares about that. No, why? Why? Mr. Wilson Volleyball, why? You, man, even your your banner, your username, all of it. A thoroughly unified theme. But unfortunately, I have to ban you. I have to ban you for an hour. It's tragic, it's horrible. Not like this. In fact, yes, it will be like this. Banned. Banned for an hour. Tragic. We could have had another VIP today, but no. No. Mr. Wilson Volleyball decided that wasn't going to happen. No, it's not forever. It's for one hour. Just enough time to think about what you've done. Yeah, to think about and acknowledge the consequences of gambling. Gambling can ruin lives. Get help if you need it. Remember to moisturize. Don't stare directly into the sun. Technology be truly random. No. But it can be good and it can be close enough. It can be perceptively random, which is all that matters. If you consider the time at which somebody redeems VIP or ban as a seed, it looks like they're then it's time. random. Sure. Kala, thank you very much for the sub. How are you doing? This robot is whooping on me. Targets destroyed. 
Switching to primary objective. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Damn it. Man, that's his damage. Halting combat and return to base. Gosh, I shot them so much. Maybe I just have to be a tank. Maybe it's I just have to be a tank all the time. Don't be anything that isn't a tank. Consider if you are a tank or not, and then become a tank. Uh, we're back to this, huh? The problem is all the missiles. Um, but I think, I think the grenade arms will probably be enough. Our corporation docked more crew and intent in order for use the mission locations. Part of me wants to say I've done this before, but I don't think I have. I think this is different. Main system, engaging combat mode. Take out the missiles! I was hoping that having two guns would out DPS her even though I'm missing some of the shots. Oh, well, there's that. Moving around doesn't help. Moving around is not going to make me hit more. Because sh she moves around too much for me to also move around and keep her in my sights. And I'm already using a wide FCS. I mean, there there might be ones that are... It's not... It's a horizontal FCS. There might be ones that are even wider and closer range. Take out the missiles! Click out the missiles! Ah, damn it! If I switch to different, like, machine gun arms, I can probably just use the, uh, the energy cannon. Or I can just drive around in circles down here until they explode onto the surface or whatever. You think AC6 will have coolant flasks? It'll probably have some kind of repair, yeah, that replenishes at checkpoints. I don't know how much is known. I don't know what I can talk about. <laughs> okay, so it's known that there are heals. Yeah, I got to go to the preview of that. Like so I have to play dumb sometimes. Continue your mission. Well, I guess what I what I hope I can do is just fly up there and sight her up 
while she's talking, and then as soon as she appears as an enemy, hit her with a double grenade blast. And then maybe that'll overheat her. I don't know. One can hope. All targets destroyed. Switching to primary objective. This is interesting. What the hell, man? The heat is so silly. Getting heat sniped. I think I have the Sniper FCS installed on this, which is not great for me right now. There's no chance. Ah! I, I did get some some hits. I did I didn't think I was scoring hits before they turned aggressive. So that might be the trick. Maybe I can just kill them before they actually flip aggro on me. I'm landing huge hits on this. This is outrageous, man. God. What the hell is with this AC? the absolutely ridiculous amounts of armor or health or something. I don't understand. This is... Uh, occasionally there's one that just takes like twice the damage as everyone else. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Take out the missiles! Take out the missiles! Love it. Oh, she has no anti-missile? Maybe a triple rocket? I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of her while the missiles are still flying around. This dude sounds like Don Knotts. <laughs> shoot the missiles, Andy! Where did our lovable doofuses go? Took you too long to remember that name? He's not, he's not on anyone's lips these days. People aren't buzzing about Don Knotts. I did see the reluctant astronaut though. Don Knotts vehicle with a uh, very pre-naked gun, Leslie Nielsen. Very goofy, very, very goofy. There's a fun window of just like, trying to be hip and cool for whatever the new generation of the 60s was. Um, very space, Kennedy, rock and roll, psychedelic, wacky. Okay. I wonder if you damage her enough if she just turns hostile right away. They tried to build a bronze statue of him in the town that inspired Mayberry, but the artist ran out of money. Continue your mission. Excellent. Oh, she does? Okay. So this is not a... This is not a... Win the fight for free card. Uh. Damn it. Uh. 
Stop moving. Switching to primary objective. That made me overheat. Ugh. Destroy. Okay, good. Mission objective achieved. Yes. System switch to normal mode. Struts. There's one mission in three where they give you an AC consort that'll turn on you if you hit her too much. But they programmed it way too lightly so that you could hit her with like three MG bullets and she'd go postal on you. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Just going absolutely feral. Destroy AC. Raven. Raven. Very disturbing news. Raven. Rome has devised a plan to carry out indiscriminate attacks in a densely populated. Yeah, GG's. This is an act. And I didn't have to use the triple rocket to do it. AC they've hired for the job must be eliminated. Chrome believes the attack is a closely guarded secret. Hey, Bib Ten. It goes very well. Thank you for asking. Come to show them the error of their ways. I'm enjoying the heck out of playing. Uh, Armored Core Nexus. A real high point for the series so far. Which is weird because the releases are getting faster. <laughs> Main system engaging combat mode. AC pilot surrender immediately. Whoa. Finally got we some slowdown. You resist. Real fire. Feels OP as it used to. How is this dude alive? Good lord, man. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yes. I love all those goodies. Yeah, we need all the train missions. Chrome has announced that they possess concrete evidence of inhuman research, including human experimentation being conducted by Murakumo. They also request a determination of the research and submission of research data. In its defense, Murakumo steadfastly denied the claims. If I have one wishlist item for AC6, I'd like to be able to choose the voice and pipe dream. I want it to sound like Don Knotts. Well, you've hit your weight limit, Raven. <laughs> oh no! The armored core is overheating! You're right. That would be a cool feature. I guess it's gonna be on PC. We could just we could just mod it, right? <laughs> the low AP morning is just him making noises. Just being generically distressed. Oh, oh, oh god. Uh I was gonna go back to this. Alright. That's right, I need a I was gonna change it to the cooler radar. Bang. I did it. I did it, everybody. Radar is equipped. I feel this, I feel a weird freedom to not have to save after every mission now, but I, I should. It's been a while. When are the power cuts off again? I guess I'm getting all these parts. That might be useful in future armored courses. Hmm. 
Okay, it does say uh, achievement percentage, and it's quite low, 30%. Yeah, was a... I think it, like, getting S rank on all the missions is how you get 100%. Guard freight train. All right. This is an urgent request. We've just been informed that our long-haul freight train, Boulder, is in imminent danger of attack. That's a cool name for a train. It's still not clear who is behind the plan, but our guess is that they're after the confidential cargo secured in the train's lead car. The train's next <laughs> stop, Heaven's Rocks. Atop. Our leader's journal is in that lead car. His private thoughts. We can't let anyone recover them. ...to launch their attack. Head to the supply depot and clear it of any targets that might pose a threat to the train. Remember, the safety of the lead car takes priority above all else. Entering target area. Deploying AC. Main system engaging call. We'll be arriving shortly. Woo, who's this spicy boy? Jeez. Whew. Oh, human plus escapee. That's pretty cool. We've cleared the depot. Thanks for your help. This is OST music. Um... It is the it is music from the game. Yes. Objective achieved. System. But this is like a remix disc, so it's older tracks that have been reorchestrated. So I guess it's like arrange music. No, maybe that's not the right term. Remix. Raven, this is an emergency request. One of our transport planes involved in a recent airlift of confidential cargo has gone missing somewhere in the North Highland. Yeah, no, the music here is really good. The pilot's last radio transmissions leave little doubt that the plane came under fire en route to its final destination. The attack was probably an attempt to intercept the transport's cargo. A search and rescue team was dispatched to the area where the plane is believed to have gone down, but their efforts have been hampered by the region's harsh terrain. More resources are needed in the field if the transport's cargo containers are to be recovered before falling into enemy hands. Any units encountered during your search should be eliminated without hesitation. We can't afford to lose even a single container. Also, one of our patrols spotted an unidentified AC operating in the region. What it is doing there, we can only guess, but it bears mentioning. Stay on your toes, Raven. It's doing next shit. Ooh. Entering target area. Deploying AC. Dirty base coming in? 
Actually, it's not very dirty. Main system. Engaging combat. What the hell is that? Remember these guys? Little elephant boys? Two targets remain. One target remaining. There's one thing these the writing for this game does well, it's effectively convey high level corporate ass covering. Yeah. The little notes that they put in that kind of bank on the humorous, like the, the absurd nihilism of the setting. Like no one gives two shits about human life here. It's all just power struggles and, and people getting ground up inside systems that are designed to use people like a resource. Why are you helping them? I want to be rich. the damn thing. Long ass mission. A ton of, uh, ton of, like, decoy targets to basically sap all your freaking ammo. Like. Danger. Defense is damaged. Halting combat. Return. I mean, he's kind of sparking. I guess I got close. It's interesting that these are throwback missions because they, they really feel like it. Um, and that ammo is the problem. Ammo was always the gating resource. Love mechs. Tank bot. I play a mission, I boost around, I have fun, I shoot my guns, I lose, and then I go, I go, I turn into a tank. This is an type of search more resource any you also. One of our that is the progress here. Oh, those sparks show up at 10% AP? Ugh. Yeah, that was close then. Well, this won't be. <laughs> it seems like I can just go right to all the containers and take that. Tracking signals detected. The container should be nearby. Except I, uh... Destroy all targets in surrounding area. Oh, you have to destroy all the targets? That's no fun. I thought I could just grab the boxes. Two targets remaining. Maybe I can. Remain. Yeah, it's the Armored Corps equivalent of Carson as a carcinogen, carcinogen, carcinization. Yeah. Warning. 
Okay, yeah, you have to kill everything. That sucks. Ugh. But say, I got something you can do. Target destroyed. Gee, close. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yeah, I think I might. Well, maybe maybe I can buy a head now that that has a radar and a good voice. Broke out at dawn. Hmm. Really makes you think. Wild cat. Okay. Like, it's. Armored Core has story, but this is it. You know? It's kind of like four, four sentences or whatever, and the implication is like, huh, that's kind of it. That's all you're left with. Huh. All right. Hey, Pop Tart. Oh, looking into going back to school. Okay. Best friend and I had a long, several hour chat the other day. She got me to really consider my woes of not going to school. She said it would guarantee a career will pay off. Just talked to a counselor today. That's awesome. Yeah, if you can get some, uh, lock in some assistance or something. What would you go to school for? Going back to snipers. I like this build a lot. And it works for most things. That sounded weird. Raven. Raven. I need your help. Something's done to me. I'm no longer human. You are almost trained. It must be stopped. I don't want any more surgery. Never again. Please help me. I don't remember I this. I don't remember somebody protesting the human plus treatment and being like, you killed me. It's interesting. There must, I mean, that must have been the, the idea behind one of the missions, but I think it came and went without me really clocking that. Main system. Aging groups. Whoa. Cat. Wait, no, I already killed him. We'll be arriving shortly. We must be destroyed. I'm gonna have to turn on this guy, aren't I? That's the nine ball music. Yeah, isn't Nine Ball the dude who got experimented on, experimented on, and went berserk? And then I, oh. wait, am I supposed to shoot this? What am I supposed to do to you? We can't hold out much longer. Yes. So mad, he's so angry. Is he hitting me? No. Target destroyed. Mission objective achieved. 
system switched to normal mode. Gaming. So why did... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Did I do it? <laughs> I did it, I guess. Ooh. Man, over... Man, like... Over half of this is just Armored Core 1. I don't remember... Some of these... Some of these missions have been lovingly re... Retouched. For those in the know, Murakuma was without any doubt conducting secret human enhancement experiment... Experiments on a number of test subjects. Despite some claims to the contrary, the research was never discontinued. Oh, I see. This is a reverse side mission. It wasn't there in the OG. The point is to put you on the other side of the, the problem. Gotcha. So they're like, they're new missions in the mindscape of what was going on. Oh, destroy plus escapee. Yes, yeah, somebody uh, talked about that. The subject involved in next generation plus experiments has escaped from our lab. I am prohibited from revealing any details. But it seems hmm. the subject's mind was adversely affected by some of the procedures he underwent. According to a former raven, Oops. the subject boarded his AC and went on a rampage. He knocked out an entire guard detachment before taking up position in one of the city's abandoned skyscrapers. The danger he poses to others is very real and cannot be ignored. Hey, look at his little AC! It's all blocky. He must be exterminated. It's regretful, but there's no other choice. We feel real bad about this. The he's chosen is extremely precarious. Exercise due caution. We made these cupcakes. We just feel real sore about this. Assistance here. Medical medical technician or assistant is my thought. Okay. Right on. Yeah, that sounds that sounds super workable. I hope uh I hope you really find your, your niche. Ow. Play viewfinder? Uh mission objective. Probably? System switch to normal. It seemed cool. I have played Metal Gear Revengeance, yeah. The game rocks. Damn. Uh I might play Viewfinder. Seems like a fun little little game to play through. Stends. I need your help rescuing a comrade kidnapped by Morikumo. According to what we've learned, our operative is scheduled to become a test subject in a radical experiment known as Human Plus. It's no secret that our organization has benefited from its relationship with Morikumo. We won't condone something like this. Unfortunately, rescuing him is not something we can do on our own. Your participation in the mission is the only hope we have of pulling it off. There's no time to waste. Head to the research lab and free our operative before it's too late. Oh, this will be fun. Do you want help we can? Because I can actually look around. Oh, man. I remember the missions that had the long vertical uh, columns connected by those those narrow or those Main wide hallways. System. Engaging combat mode. Is that what we're dealing with here? Raven, do you copy? Struggle we managed to introduce a virus into their security system. This should buy you a little breathing room. So 
What am I? Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta free somebody. What the fuck? How many shots do these things take? <sighs> I'm a little worried about ammo now. Do that. Oops. Oh. God. Ugh. Suck ass! There was another dude back here too. Plus one of these guys. Ooh, deserter headwind. Thanks for the sub. long one, huh? Wait a minute. Oh, we got... We got dead ends. the kind of thing where when I find him the mission's over. Okay, I'm gonna trust my eyes on this one. <laughs> and if he's not in any of those rooms, I'm not gonna go in there and just get chewed up by those turrets. There's like a lot of... Oh, shoot, I got really lucky. Oh. Who oh. are you? Someone! Stop me! I I'm gonna have to fight them. too late. They're already done. Great. You can't help him. Plug him out of his head. Target destroyed. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. No one comes back alive in Armored Core. God, that music would not quit. So good.
test subject in a radical experiment program perished during the attempt to or the during the attempt to rescue him. His fate may have been a blessing though, as both his mind and body were irreversibly altered. Experiments using human beings as laboratory test subjects are being conducted somewhere in the vast sphere of Murkrumo's door to remain. Man. I'm gonna slow down with the re Oh! That was it. It was only two. That's not surprising. Oh no, it, it, lists, it lists. Well, I guess I'm about halfway done with the revolution disc here. A little more than halfway. I wanna keep going though. I'm gonna go until the next time I just get completely shut down by a mission. But if it's just a smooth breeze, I'll just keep going. New complex known as Amber Crown housed researchers working on a top secret project. The research, although nearing completion, was ended abruptly by a raven. I like how, uh, yeah, in Project Phantasma, pro never really learned what Project Phantasma actually was. We fought over it a lot. Infiltrate Amber Base. We want you to infiltrate the underground city, Amber Crown. The main service entrance is slightly broader than makes it perfect. Getting a briefing from an FBI informant. After destroying all opposition, take out the four generators around the entrance's perimeter. This will release the locking mechanism for the main gate. The city's second line of defense is a computer-controlled gate located inside. The only way to bypass this obstacle is to destroy the condensers that supply the computer with power. Further instructions will follow once the breach in the city's perimeter has been confirmed. some Orzies. Wasn't Phantasma the big final boss of the game? It's like a worse version of Human Plus or something. Okay. I mean, that stands to reason, I guess. I guess it's... Yeah. I guess you can just kind of assume in reverse that it was some kind of terrible abortion of Bioengineering and technology. A weapon that should not exist. Bad guy in Fan Project Phantasma is literally called Doomsday Organization. Real subtle stuff. Project designed by the Doomsday Organization that was designed to integrate humans into new weapons. Mission objective. This is very similar to Human Plus, but it could be argued this had far more drastic changes to the users of the system. Alright. I just don't think that was really spelled out in the course of the game. That's all. Maybe it was at some point, I just missed it. 
That's that's the thing that I found Later. amusing. Terrorists are attempting to force their way into Africa. Those right. bastards. Their MTs broke through our defenses on the surface. Locate the group's leader and destroy him. We'll do what we can about the rest. We can't let them enter the city. Good luck. Gotta read every part description. Yeah, do, do they hide lore in the part descriptions? For uh, Armored Core? People don't get as, as saucy about Armored Core lore, it seems like. I mean, I'm sure it's all meticulously chronicled on wikis. What are you shooting at? What are you doing, guy? You're just looking busy? Go down to the base again? Oh, I'm sure there is deserter headline. There are YouTube channels for everything. Core explained. No, I met. I met. I met him. Armored Core explained has even showed up in the chat. Nice dude. Gave me tips. Who I am, I don't know where I am. All I know is that I have a mech and I must fight. Ooh. Traitor! Boom! That's what the rest can expect when we're finished here. Raven, you're very persistent. It's too bad this can't let you live. Converge on the Raven. Don't let him escape. Uh, how do you do that? So now do I just leave? Since it respawned everything behind me? I mean, that's that's pretty legendary level design. Go in, turn around. Mailing me through the door. Can stop. God, cheap as hell. more of them. God. Guys. Stop. Stop it. God. They started bonking into them. This is ridiculous. Look at all these dudes. Holy shit. That's yeah, that's one of those missions where, like, they trick you. They trick you by giving you a lot of shit to shoot at. There's just so many enemies. That's so silly. Ugh. 
Well, it's not really time for build change. You don't have to kill everything. All I have to do is get to the bottom and, like, trigger the second half of the level. to overheat the whole way. God, move. Open there. You traitor! That's what the rest of All units converge on the Raven. Do you have to shoot every time I open the door? That is cheap as shit. Yeah. It takes forever to turn around. Uh, console, console first person shooters. I mean, technically not, but it's kind of what I'm dealing with here. That was my gun. Ah, it's just on the other side of the door. Oh, you. <sighs> hmm. Hey, what's up, OG? This was a bad idea. How are you? Hell attackers. A pitched battle for control of Amber Crown's surface entrance took place the other day. The attackers were intent on breaching the main gate. Our security detail managed to hold them off, but suffered heavy losses while doing so. Are the Diablo 4 inside games made you laugh hard? I'm glad to hear that. We've learned yeah, the episodes have been fun lately. Imminent. This time, they hope to sneak in under the cover. I mean, they've always been fun, but... Our forces are too depleted to put up the need. I feel like we're settling into our voice. Your help defending the main gate. Take up a position that will allow you to fend off attacks. We got another. We're gonna do another episode tomorrow. They managed to destroy. We'll post on Wednesday. The city is lost. Good luck, Raven. We're all counting on you. Yeah, we have fun here. We 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 have fun. We make silly sounds sometimes. Up yours, woke moralists. Ah, uh, we have fun. Main system engaging combat. Jesus. 
Ay, ay. I was actually standing on them for a little bit. <laughs> Can't beat the BG. Hopefully we can get him back in more uh more stuff soon. He's busy though. Brian Gar is in demand. That's the case with most of the people, really. Which is a blessing. All the people I want to work with are superstars. No, Brian's not part of the guild or anything. He does, he's not on strike. System switch to normal mode. Oh, thank you, OG. Thanks for saying hi. Catch you next time. No, I'm pretty sure Brian's not in SAG. I mean, he might be. Inside Games production has not been affected by the strikes. Okay, because there's six more episodes. Irregular. It was a long and difficult road, but the research had finally begun to yield results and show promise. That is until he showed up. He, who deserves to be called Irregular, destroyed everything and brought the project to a halt. Is that, is that the player? Who are they referring to? Yeah, I'm scabbing myself through my own business. The targets you plan to recover were captured by an enemy patrol consisting of three. If uh if I bravely posted on social media that Inside Games was going on hi hiatus out of solidarity to the uh the writers and screen actors guild strikes, how much clout do you think that would get me? How many how many likes and favorites do you think that would get? Like a lot? A lot? A lot? At least three? That's a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the inside games on Starfield. Starfinder. I need 15 space dust, Starfinder. Oh yeah, this one. I remember this. Boop. Done. Mission what? To uh, I guess I was supposed to protect it, huh? I did not pay attention. I'm a good raider. Rescue the allies. A rescue. Recover. Three transports. Wait, it said eliminate something. Well, I mean, it all units except for the center transport. Ha 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 ha! Yes, of course. It's the op exact opposite of what I did. Anyone could get that confused. Main system. Engaging combat. Target verified. Move to intercept.
pretty sure in the original you could just shoot the two cars and it would it would say the mission is done. I don't know where this guy is. Oh. Sneaky. Okay. All right, there we go. I was about to say. What a cool intro. Fools. Caught in their own trap. Yeah. I gotta fight this guy. Oh, damn. This is a I did that. I'm not impressed. That's not hard. You cannot hope to defeat Stinger. <laughs> you do well to my advice. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. I'm not impressed. Uh, he's not hard. We've just confirmed suspicions that one of the corporations intends to launch an attack on our organization. They've hired a raven to do the job. He must be eliminated. The corporation in question was once one of our backers. We have since terminated the relationship. They're obviously not pleased about this and intend to secure our research by force. Their planned use of our research is to further their own goals. This is not what we, we don't want their goals. We want our goals. Our most current intel reports, the That's what goals are. Ours. Military training center. All units stationed there are being withdrawn to avoid losing them. Head to the training center. Be prepared to launch an attack as soon as the enemy is sighted. Kill everything, got it. Main system, engaging combat mode. Raven, my scanners are picking up a lot of activity. Watch this. Set up. Prepare to evacuate. I need a clear flight path. Take out those air units. Board the transport as soon as the skies are clear. Time to go. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Remember that weird Sundar AC you fought in the main game who was just like, oh, it's a trap and sounded bored as hell? I do. A man who referred to as a regular interfered with our research and brought it to a close. Had he never existed, our labors would have yielded much different results. This thought is one that never leaves my mind. Without those things happening, different things would have happened. I can't stop thinking about it. In an attempt to delay the completion of our ongoing research, one of our rivals has decided to launch a strike deep inside Amber Crown. An enemy incursion has already been reported. The exact position of the enemy units isn't known yet, but we hope to draw them out. Using We'd like you to nope. accompany a convoy of three transports. One of which is supposedly carrying targets of great interest to our rival. If all goes well, the enemy should bite. Take out all targets as soon as they are in range. Okay, take out all targets. Easy peasy. Main 
Engaging system. Engaging combat. They've taken the bait. Raven, get to work. Shooting drones? Oh, we got some Hopkins. It's like another one just immediately warped in. Ugh. Is Stinger gonna show up again? Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for another AC to show up. Does we just got Anthony Hopkins? Ugh. Dude. Mission objective achieved. All right. System switch to normal mode. Pretty straightforward. Just dudes. Dudes. Music soundtrack. Good. All right, moving on. Quick restroom break. Oh, it's the... Oh, no, wait. I thought this one was the one on the water. I'll be right back. Bathroom break. Man, that beat goes. I like it. Our research was interrupted many times, and a number of those who were working on the project lost their lives. It was a terrible time. If only he had not interfered, things would have been different. Perhaps the research would have been completed. And then we'd have the research. <clears throat> it almost feels like they... Like, sometimes they just have these story vignettes. They imagine this, like, moment of tragedy and all the beats that, that make it a tragic moment. And that's it. We'd that's like all. Disrupt Doomsday's military exercises. And sometimes not even that. Not even all of those. Doomsday. Yeah, okay. As far as we can tell, the only purpose for these drills is to collect data from Project Phantasma. Destroy all targets you encounter at the facility. Yeah, I realize now that uh, that sponsor message, that Nightbot message, doesn't quite have Main formal text telling everyone that this is a sponsored stream. Commencing operation. Eliminate all targets. I guess it's in the title. I made a verbal disclosure. I do appreciate 
uh, a lot of a lot of the contracts I have now are very explicit about your FTC disclosure requirements, which is pretty nice. I, I mean, I I think the uh, the sponsors are required to remind the streamer of those disclosure requirements, but it's still it's still nice. Reinforcements spotted. I'm down with any signs of civilization and like proper business conduction in, in new media. Who knows I've seen enough of the alternative. There's some fights going on over here. Oh, looks like somebody's getting messed up a little bit. Messed up a little bit by the mammoth mech. That's the last one. Good work. Yeah, Iceman. I think it's a. I think it's a reasonable assumption, but system switch. I was just saying, like me looking at it now, I'm like, my first, yeah. The first assumption may not have been that. Hey, keep me honest. Rat me out. If I go to prison, I would have tons of time to stream. Think about it. No more trips. Both of you against guard MTs dispersed around the city. Guard MT you must be in top form during the entire test in order That's for interesting. One of the missions is as a test. Data. We'll look at the number of units each of you destroys to determine whether or not you have performed as needed. The prototype is still in its test stage, so you should come out on top. The duration of the test is three minutes. Use this time wisely. Remember, your targets are the MTs, not the prototype. Destruction of the prototype will result in the immediate discontinuation of the test. Main system engaging combat. Raven, destroy as many guard MPs as you can. You have to beat the prototype to succeed. I was just sitting in front of him, absorbing all of his bullets. One. Fun. Whoa. Seven. I'm trying to bait. Trying to bait out my shots. I guess I did that. Yeah, your ally deleted your AP. Sure did. One minute remaining. Raven, do your best. Dude, ah. Uh, annoying cars. Cars getting in the way, gumming up my joints. Dude, move! Ugh. Actually, I can stand to regen. 
Oh crap, he's gonna light me up. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, this is perfect. Doing a little body block. Oh, I catch my breath. All right. <laughs> Time's up. Finish off any remaining units. Oh, okay. Really? Mission failed. System switched to normal mode. Gotta admit I didn't expect that. That's okay. Let me switch to the... I can just switch to the sniper FCS. I think that'll give me an edge. more than three MTs, or if you kill more than three MTs, then the prototype. Three more than the prototype. You get his rifle. Rick, destroy as many guard MTs as you can. You have to beat the prototype to succeed. Remember, expect Damn it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to target better, because the, the freaking targeting just keeps locking on to... That was one! Like... That means I... Well, no, wait, that doesn't make sense. I guess the... The count... From the AI is not accurate. Jeez, fuck. Caught on cars and shit. It's really annoying. Boy. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Maybe grenade? Something that has AoE so I can just shoot the clusters of enemies? Don't hit the prototype. Shut up. The prototype is getting in the way. The prototype knows what it's doing. Damn, it's faster than me. Yeah, maybe maybe I just need faster boosters. Wait a minute, I should just hang out. Oh, that's right, because they spawn around the corner, which is really smart, actually. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't working. Um... Yeah, this this actually might require tuning specifically for this. I don't have a I don't have like a super high performance booster actually. Uh, yeah, if it's I don't know if it's uh, I'm gonna try it one more time, but it seems like I'm gonna have to retool a build for this mission. That do, that's not going to be hard, but it is going to be time-consuming. and That trips afoul of my uh, easy cruise rule. Look at the duration. Remember, I wish you had, like, a reliable count, but the targeting is so frustrating. I'll empty, like, tons of bullets into an enemy that's already dying. Raven, destroy as many guard enemies as you can. You have to beat the prototype to succeed. 
right now. Like, that's just not workable. Ow, fuck. Careful. Oh, he's hopping. He's mad. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no! What the fuck? Hey! Oh, I have a smaller FCS, that's right. Oh no! I have the lead? Oh no! Don't jump! What am I? Don't hit the prototype. I didn't know it was there. Fine. I thought it was around the corner for some reason. Ugh. Last two. Okay. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Hey, I thought about that. I could just snipe the first three and then blo body block the prototype and then just put the controller down. That would be. That was my follow up strat if trying to do it semi legitimately didn't work. Despite repeated interference, we put forth a great deal of effort to continue gathering data. We used any and all means to attain success. Results were everything to us. Who could have anticipated that the research, which was going so well, would bring about such an end? It's like these visual... visuals poems or something? Little short story bits? Yes, do it for the illustrations. Exercise is scheduled to take place at our training facility. Yes, these are all the test missions. With your expertise would be a welcome addition. There are no weapon restrictions, so equip your AC however you see fit. Target assignment will be handled on our end. Don't pull any punches. We want the data that is collected to be as accurate as possible. Give us that data. That reminds me, I gotta play more Exo Primal. Generate that sweet, sweet data. Man, and speaking of data, do another shout out for today's sponsor. Ipso I say. It's a survey, a survey organization where you earn points for taking surveys and redeem those points on uh, gift cards or just money. You can just redeem it on PayPal cash or uh, prepaid Visa online cards, basically. So if you got a lot of time to kill, and you like answering questions. Ipsos, I say. If you use the Ipsos command, you get a link to sign up. It's absolutely free. And this is going to sound a little weird, but the, the interface is, like, clean and, and direct and uncluttered. 
it's it's a weird thing because it is all about like surveys but it's just like i don't know i think they go out of their way i think they go out of their way to make it make it seem nice official and inviting and it is so it's fine but it's just a it's a nice change of pace from the rest of the internet which is a goddamn annoying train wreck these days anyway i've uh, i've done my my share of yelling about annoying things on the internet today i got my quota in we're good But yeah, check it out. You can get like a Starbucks gift card or a Walmart gift card. Hashtag sponsor. I gotta pay for this uh, Armored Core maintenance somehow. 20 minutes, I was halfway to five bucks. Yeah, that was about my... That was about the... Uh, that was about the runtime I clocked too. I did a few surveys to like to track the, the points I was getting by time and see how long it would take to earn stuff. I mean, it's it's not great, but it's something you can do with your phone. Mission objective achieved. And I'm going to be honest, it's probably a little bit better than doom scrolling. Sometimes just like idly flipping through social media. I just see, I just see noise, man. Just things that get in my brain and make me not feel so great. So instead of Instead of seeing something that makes you roll your eyes, you could instead make a couple bucks. Ipsos, I say. All right, the breeze is continuing. Uh, that was that was a little worrisome for a moment, but we're good. Raven, the Rectenna receiving facility is in danger of being overrun by a doomsday strike team. This facility is an important relay station that converts microwave energy into electric power. Doomsday must not be allowed to take possession of it. We're requesting the removal of all hostile forces attempting to occupy the facility and its surroundings. When fighting inside, take care not to damage any of the condensers. The top Put sponsors on the mechs? Oh my gosh. You could use the emblem editor. <laughs> Avoid setting your AC down How cool the is that? Man, I gotta start pitching I gotta start pitching clients for an extra ten dollars. I will transfer your logo into Armored Core and wear your logo like a NASCAR driver. Oh, I could get like a suit? Start stitching patches onto it? Oh, damn. Main system engaging combat. There aren't any are there any streamers that like I mean I guess I guess there's like backgrounds get merchandised, right? There's there's like mini fridges and signs and all that stuff. And and sure streamers will wear like hats. But their bodies, I guess, what's the most egregious visual branding on a stream? There's got to be a... I think there was like a subreddit for a while that was like t Twitch layout nightmares that was pretty fun. I guess the most egregious selling out is not something that would be visual. It has to be like systemic and underhanded. Like owning a, owning a betting site and using it on your, your own stream. Promoting it to your audience. Hey, Captain Rumps. Captain Rumpus, excuse me. It's going great. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm playing the Revolution disc now, which is a bunch of throwback missions and remakes. And it's it's great. It's just uh, it's just straightforward missions. Uh, and the, the new control scheme is doing it wonders, so I'm having a great time. Hey, Ozzy Maniac. It's good to see you. Yeah. Like the Counter-Strike guy. Guys did. I don't think it gets worse than that. There's like, there's I guess YouTubers just straight up, straight up promoting gambling to kids. That's not great. What, but I mean, I guess the Counter-Strike thing is part of that. That's what that is. I, I didn't do that. You can't build me for that. That wasn't me. Wait, DJ Kento. Thank you very much for the splashy chat, for the zappy chat, the money chat. We are celebrating that I dodged the Rona once again. Let's go. Gaming. Yeah, all's, all's very well, Aussie Maniac. I'm feeling great these days. Got a couple of, uh, got a couple of health things sort of resolved and squared away. So I'm feeling good about that. The gaming has been good. Gaming. Armored Core Nexus is uh, top tiered. DJ Kento does not have Corona. 
coronavirus. Why can't I open this door? There we go. I did my time with Corona, with the Rona. It's weird. I, I mean, Florida is is the is really the uh, the reason. A cruise going out of Florida, no less. Why is my why is my health going down? Stop it. Warning: AP at fifty percent. Florona. Yeah, I went on a cruise that went out of Florida and then also spent some, some couple of days in Florida. I wore masks and everything, but come on. You're begging for it. I thought, uh, I thought four shots made me invincible. I got cocky, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Quarantined as soon as I tested or tested as soon as I got back. Cor like it did, it actually took a while to turn positive too, but I was feeling a little, little sneezy. It was still negative. I was like, Ugh, I, it was Florida. Hey, what's up, Muse man? Excited for Fires of Rubicon? I'm getting more excited by the game, yeah. It has been really fun seeing these games change along the way. That's what I like to hear, Barney. Barney's staying down in the in the basement. He's got the he's got the core protected. Saw the new Mission Impossible earlier. Was Pog all right? Main system. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know. I like Mission Impossible. I always have. Just kind of like movied out, I guess. Just kind of everything out for a while. I just don't want any franchises for a minute. I said that, but I did see Indiana Jones 5 and actually quite liked it, so. I think I gotta just stop overthinking things. Gotta just go see movies, I guess. I don't know. I guess. I'm, I can't help but think to like. Time doesn't mean anything to me anymore, so I can just wait for it to be on streaming, and that's, like, it's seriously not a big deal. I don't have any pressing need to, like, have an opinion on anything that's relevant or current or, or like, nah, no thanks. Um, I have to go di- huh. What are we doing here? Do I have to kill stuff? Or do I protect stuff? Hmm. Oh wait, those are bombs? Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Okay. <clears throat> Theaters are full of ass or hooligans and assholes who don't care if people talk or on their phones, so fuck that. Home theater. Yeah. Uh, yes. If it weren't for... They're, they're, by the grace of God, there's an Alamo Draft House in Los Angeles, so it's, it's really the only place I'll go see movies. Because, yeah, I can't... I really can't stand that stuff. I, uh, it, I get pretty sensitive about it. I wish I didn't. I really envy people that, like, I envy people that can sleep when somebody else is snoring. I, and I envy people that can just not care if, like, somebody's talking during a movie or something. I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever, I can still hear the movie's fine. Like, I wish that was me. But it's like intrusive thoughts. I can't not listen because it's this new voice coming from a new position. So it's like almost like my survival instinct forces my brain to train in on it, because uh, I can't I can't tune it out, and it's always the just the most Three targets remain. five IQ dumbest thing anyone could ever say at a film. Uh, uh, like it's not oh my god, Nana's in the hospital. <laughs> if it was that, I'd be like oh shit, you need to you need to say something right now. It's okay. That's more important, but it's always like, it's always like, oh, it's that guy <laughs> or something like that. And it's like, yeah, it's that guy. 
you just saw the scene where he walked on frame and said what his name was. Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, is that Steve? And you're just like... <laughs> it's... And then it's not even the noise. It's, it's just the... Being outright baffled that somebody is not following what's happening on screen. Or that they missed something. Steve just spent five minutes saying, Hey, I'm Steve, under a big sign that said, Steve's right here, pointing to him. Like, hey, is it? I think that's Steve. One target remains. Oops! <laughs> Oops! Destroyed. No charges disarmed. Oh. Okay. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. When I saw John Wick 1, a bunch of girls came in. They all got on their phones and ignored the movie. One picked up her phone and started saying, I'm in that Wick movie. It's boring as fuck. Nothing is happening. And I wanted to scream. <laughs> Cinema. Yeah, there's no way in hell I would ever go to that ever again uh yeah like i don't i don't need to have cutting opinions for social media um so and i don't need to deal with that so why even why even risk it the benefits of just waiting and watching movies at home like a gremlin and and then you don't even have to like it's uncluttered from opinion because it's passe at that point so you don't have to even think about what anyone else cares about it. You just have a really intimate relationship with the movie. Those who would see our organization brought to its knees are attempting to recapture the red tenant received. Oh, you like loudly and proudly expressing your thoughts on movie trailers? Not seeing that one, no way, bud. Whoa. We're out of ideas, huh? Gosh, another one of these. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, when I went to see Guardians 3, there was a group of teenagers desperately trying to be funny in the back of the theater and it was really embarrassing. Oh. I wish, I wish I could savor those moments as like, gosh darn it, go into the cinema, huh? The boy is the beating grounds of, of all cultures and peoples. No, it's bad. It sucks. Uh. The only times I've had positive experiences down that, like like two maybe tops. Anytime an audience making noise in the theater was rad. And one was the best, one of the best cinematic experiences I ever had was seeing the 2014 Evil Dead in a dollar theater and like, the more rowdy side of town and that was fucking awesome because people were like screaming and yelling and it was like it matched the energy of the movie uh and it actually made it better um and and the, because that movie was also like pretty fucking awesome so it, it that hit just right and people talk about that experience that one window that i had they talk about it like that's every time they go to the movies i'm like no way all the freaking vignettes with michelle pfeiffer staring inspirationally into the distance dang it that's no nicole kidman my my bad uh I'm like what the what theaters are you going to you're going to rich people theaters that's how you can have such a fond and an amazing and the installation warm the feeling for the theater and see the Man. we've done what we can to prepare it against further attacks you got butlers on every row ready to just like get somebody in the neck the moment they breathe a little too loud just get them with a dart and they go down all costs the units we have stationed around the facility are but a token force and would not be able to withstand a large-scale attack the presence of a raven is the only way we will ensure victory yeah one dollar theaters rule uh one of the other fantastic cinematic experiences i had was going to see fast five at a dollar theater I was broke as hell, but I got a giant pickle and a huge Coke Zero that was actually mixed really well. Those two go together pretty well, and uh, Fast Five was an awesome movie, so everything worked out. <laughs> but it's rare. It got more rare as time went on. It's weird. Remember when Avatar came out? I went to see it in the cheap theater in town. <laughs> it was packed. The <laughs> 
Hold on. The first time two characters connected ponytails, some guy with a really heavy accent went, yo, what the fuck? And everybody in the theater left. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Sometimes, sometimes people do exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. And it's really funny. And it's perfect. And it's better. Like, it's better for it. And everyone understands that. The entire purpose of the mission. Keep the enemy units up. Can't force those moments, though. Watch what you shoot at. I wanted to... Oh, man. To this day, I think I actually regret. Because I had a real crisis of confidence. During episode 9. The only time I've ever been inspired to scream in a movie theater was when Ray and Kylo kissed. And I was like... I was like, it was straight up, I was catching it in my throat. Because I was about to just be like, Ugh! just make the most guttural, repulsive sound. But I was fighting myself the whole time because I was like, somebody in this theater might be really into this, and I can't do this. Because this might, like, there might be like a, I don't know, there might be like a teenager who's just having their mind blown. I had to, uh... We anticipate that this will be There wasn't. Down. I should have gone for it. Prepare your AC accordingly. Yeah. The most forced, lifeless, uh, passion-free, chemistry void, touching of lips in cinematic history. Waves of enemy aircraft detected. Serious, why is my, my health is going down again? Is that just this level? Maybe it's like too radioactive or something. I didn't even like those characters and it was like it was like watching a brother and sister I didn't like like the weird Mormon brother and sister and it's like they like they don't even drink why are they kissing fits now that I think about it. They both have like homeschooled energy, which I think is like a good, I think, uh, I think for, uh, for Kylo's perspective was a really good dynamic. He was just like the modern edge, edge Lord. I thought it was a really good vision of a, of a villain and Ray's like, Ray's like way new into horses. It works. What the hell? Where did all my... What is going on with this level? And what's with this? Defense is damaged. combat is returned to So does anyone know why my health is just burning off completely? Is it is it really just a swamp? Is it a swamp level? Those who would see our they install the important the units we have any damage we anticipate that this will be a long you can't touch the roof. Oh, <laughs> okay. Main system, engaging combat mode. Oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> Multiple waves of enemy aircraft detected. Only fire at what you can hit. That's true, it is a microwave converter, isn't it? Makes sense.
Third enemy wave approaching. I was worried they were going to start pinching me on ammo. Players love waves, we'll give them waves. All the waves they can handle. Uh-huh. Missiles? Oh, they're, they're aiming for the things. Mission objective Whew. achieved. System switched to normal. Wait, what? Walter, this seems like a keen observation. I'm just curious how you got here. There's a sector of people who have nothing better to do than get parasocially pissed off. Like the people who shit on Elizabeth Olsen for not tweeting when Chadwick Boseman died. Sad thing is, those types of people aren't in this chat, and if they are, they're not listening to us now. Is this just... Oh, okay, kind of talking about, ah, people that get bizarrely twisted out of shape about Star Wars. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah. Eh... Yeah, it's a, it's not a great situation. It's not a great look for... Well... Yeah, it's not a right corner of source. Group known as Doomsday Organization appears to be related to the incident. I... Am I out of line in assuming that that's a North American phenomenon? Or sorry, a United States culture phenomenon? I feel like the US owns that bullshit. Maybe it's because we make the movies, but I don't know if the the fandom uh, it is okay that's been my understanding too talking with people in games um people that, that work communities and, and do marketing and stuff a lot of the consensus i've heard is that people in the u.s are just more crazy um they're more invested more passionate and and also that's where a significant portion of like harassment comes from um so to me, I don't know, to me that's that's the ugly side of having what I consider to be a pretty uh, immature culture, just in the world stage, just in terms of time. Only like three centuries compared to like two millennia, that, that's kind of what I mean. It has yet to find a, something that's a little more rooted than pop media. But pop media is our greatest contribution to the world and it's kind of what's emblematic of our culture right now. But if you go hard in on that, you were kind of basing your philosophical and your cultural beliefs on the made-up stories of space bears and magic. So, to me, the that's where the cracks start to show. Uh, that, those are the cultural cracks. Um, and to some degree, they, they are our crack because when we bend over, that's what the world sees and it's not the best. I know Dota 2 Chinese fandom gets really toxic too. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I'm generalizing a ton we want you to carry here. Out an attack on Doomsday's headquarters. Uh, those are my general assum assumption ideas on it. It's It would be pretty cool in my lifetime to see that culturally mature. To have it genuinely not happen as much anymore and genuinely for the culture to police itself and to find people that might get a little too invested or upset and like, maybe not cast them out of, of online communities, but find ways to communicate with them or find ways to de-escalate so that the, the hate mob stuff just doesn't happen as much. I wonder if it's gonna be that or if it's just that's an unavoidable part of human nature it's that once you connect everybody with the internet, it's just gonna happen. Project Phantasma. Mm. We've decided to intervene before this happens. 
our mission is to retrieve plans relating to the project from their computer data banks and disclose everything. Yeah, good point, Walter. The computer is situated uh, deep Americans are hardly the first to, to invent easily digestible stories that others base their life values on. This will be an extended mission, so prepare your AC's ammunition stores accordingly. Weapons can be restocked midway through the mission, but you should still keep a close eye on your reserves. Main system, engaging combat mode. The computer is located on the lowest level. Destroy anything that gets in your way. Are these like the final levels? Or the last levels of the games? This I feel like I've played this level a lot. Yeah, so like if I'm turning and I hit backwards, there's like a little, there's like massive hitch, but yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. There's a lot of animation transitions that interrupt your aiming. That's kind of what I was thinking. Or, uh, that's sort of kind of what I was trying to talk about before. I'm supposed to drop down, right? Yeah, Otter. Cultural identity in the U.S. feels like it's past any sort of homogene homogeneity. So many factors have fractured it. I don't know that it was ever homogenous to begin with, and that's kind of the point. Um, the United States is so big that it was supposed to be uh, just a collection of states, and the individual states had their unique cultures that were independent and uh, local. The whole idea of, like, federalism that uh, most power would be delegated to the states. But, you know, that got, that got put to the test in the Civil War. And, uh, kind of culturally and warily came to the decision that, no, the federal government needs to be able to say certain things. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of space. People are spread out, and and a lot of the different parts of the country have different histories themselves. So that's kind of how I tend to look at it. And certainly lately, living in California, I have a more state state oriented view of things. It's just a uh, yeah. I think um, that's one of the things I've come to embrace that local governments like uh, city and state governments are far more representative and indicative of a place's culture and, culture and values. And even then, it's not that. Like, things go wacky all the time. I don't even know where I am. Uh, we as a nation identify as individuals, so who are we when we're together? It hits bong. Yeah, these, these are some pretty bong ripping. The computer is in here. Oh. Watch my back until the download is complete. Some bong rippy thoughts I'm throwing around. This may some take music is getting me there. This music is like digi weed. Oh. Almost there. Come on. Having moved across the country, a lot of things highlight how different 
a lot of things highlight how different we are when in reality people are a lot more similar than we think. A lot of us versus them mentality in social media, traditional media, politics, etc. I agree. I think I think a lot of people are have the same wants and desires largely. It's almost like people people differ on the flavor of the messaging. Well, lately not so much. People have been scared into some pretty scary stuff. I wasn't paying the most attention. What did she say? I was distracted by my... Uh, very deep uh, very deep thoughts That is a state with its culture. It's different than the rest of Twitch. It is. Micro communities on the internet. I mean macro communities because of the millions of people. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's interesting crab foam. All of this in context to uh, talking in theaters. There are some people that just don't think about others in public settings. I think there's that. I think it's like also some people don't care and they don't understand that other people might care. I think it's like, they just can't imagine anyone who would give a shit. Do you have to go in here? You have to go all the way back from where you came. Okay. And then it's like, you can't really blame them any more than you can blame yourself for somebody taking offense to something you did, but that's not in your boundaries. So then it's, I don't know. Of course, everything's relative, but also maybe don't talk during movies. <laughs> I think a lot of people have agreed on that one. Don't look at your phone. I want to just chill for a second and let my okay, let my energy come back. I feel like that's to some degree that is that is a weird belief structure that I've noticed kind of arise as well. Is the because uh, you're saying don't be a little shit in public or don't be an asshole. There's some people who seem to like associate being an asshole with with like pro-social stuff. They're like no. I, I need to defend my right to be an asshole because it's important. I have to be an asshole because somehow that makes things better. Or it's like the, the no safe... It's kind of like the... The shittier but more honest version of no safe spaces, which is that... Me being an asshole somehow toughens everyone up. It's kind of... I guess it's just like you're arguing on... Uh, on behalf of being a bully. But somehow that's... Sometimes that's literally what it is. Some people are just like, no, it's important to be a bully sometimes. I was just kind of like... Casual bullying was a weird thing in Texas where I grew up. I've talked about this before. I don't know if it's just unique to like where I grew up or... Or even the, like the church I grew up in, but... Yeah. Some people have, have kind of agreed that it's just kind of a thing. If it's not something that you enjoy being on either side of, it's just not pleasant in general. Ooh. Yeah, I guess it could be an age range thing. Enemy units spotted. We can't escape until they're destroyed. What? You sure? Didn't 
Did she say there was gonna be a refill? Nice work. Let's clear out before they send reinforcements. Everything will be destroyed. But I guess it's better that way. Mission objective. Oof. System switch. Growing up in the northern Midwest, passive aggression was the name of the game. Minnesota's really nice. Minnesota nice is really Minnesota talking behind your back. Interesting. Oh, got the refill after the download cutscene. Gotcha. We're currently in the process of moving all documents relating to Project Phantasma from the ruins of our old headquarters to a new location. Please escort. It is interesting to hear about the uh, just little things like that that really do reinforce that that core culture is different in different spots in the United States. The actual research data. Once the research is complete, we will gain something we don't have now. Power. It is only with this we can hope to bring change. Help us realize our dream. Ooh. As long as the check clears, I'll help you realize whatever you want. A scale of 10 to 10, how stoked are you for AC6? I'm nine balls. Main system. Excited. Aging combat mode. Raven, enemy target Raven. detected nearby. Balls. Yeah? Surely an AC is going to show up and kick my ass, right? The students I work with, admittedly at a very well-to-do school, like to say some shit right as somebody's walking away and then ask their friends to hold them back pretty performatively. <laughs> ah, teen- or wait, is it teenagers? Dinger! Stinger's back, everybody. He was really cool last time. It's mine. All mine. Yeah, nice plot there, huh? So, you're gonna make this difficult. You're pretty good. Is he gonna, like, blow in half? I'm not finished with you yet. Damn it. Mission objective. Oh, okay. All right. System switch to normal mode. Thought he was going to phase two or something. Ah, another poem. The existence of a group known as Doomsday Organization was publicly touched upon for the first time at a recent press conference. An investigation is ongoing at the location where two ACs were seen engaged in combat. So far, no connection has been made between this latest incident and the facility occupation. Wow. Makes you think. I guess I got four more missions. Let's see if they breeze. Confrontation. Pre Phantasma. What? A project, codenamed Phantasma, meant to somehow integrate the human form with machines. According to information that was left at Doomsday Organization, the search for a missing prototype has been started. Should I add these to MediaTek, you think? They're in the they're in the video player. Why not? Maybe fun to pop up from time to time. Raven, 
We've just learned that Stinger has stolen the new weapon system, Phantasma. He's currently hiding in the North Highland, along with remnants of the Doomsday Organization. His ultimate objective is unknown, but we cannot let him retain possession of this technology. Take him out. That is all. If you beat Mission 14 Remake in 60 seconds, you'll get a Moonlight Blade. Ooh. Is that the, that's this one? <clears throat> system. Well, if he lets me shoot him. Oh. got to do both parts in 60 seconds? Danger. Jesus, those missiles. I took a lot of damage in that first part. I'll try one more time. But it's getting late. It's getting late. Raven, his ultimate of take him out. Maybe it's just the boss fight? Yeah, maybe. Main system. Engaging combat. Ton of health, Christ. When will you stop bothering me? You're still not getting any survey survey, Jason? Hmm. That's not good. What did you do? Yeah, and I got teabagged. With the BM, I'll try the other I'll try the other mech. I'll try tank. Uh yeah, this should be this should have enough ammo. Raven is all to take him out. <laughs> Tanks for nothing. Main system. Engaging nice combat one. mode.
50%. Yeah, man. What is he? Ugh. What? What was this thing? God, it's, it is really difficult to not just get completely sandwiched by all these guys. When will you stop bothering? It's just the, man, the first, that first phase keeps draining me so bad. Usually fighting just regular dudes doesn't, doesn't rock me like that. Come on! God! Keeps getting the benefit of a bunch of annoying and targeting quirks. Halting combat and returning to base. That seems so doable. Unless he's just got astronomical amount of, of armor points, which he might, for all I know. No, one more time. I can't tell what... I can't tell what, uh... What's doing the most damage to me? System. Engaging in this phase here. Yeah, yeah, boy. Moonlight acquired. Not sure how they've managed it, but elements of the Doomsday Organization are still in possession of a Phantasma prototype. Okay, yeah, I remember. This was the thing that shot the giant laser, right? Collaborating with one of the corporations to keep the project alive. This is a nightmare waiting to unfold. We must take action. We've pinpointed the location of the facility where the project is being housed. Head there immediately and finish this off. Bought this in another age, really. I fought a lot of monstrosities in another age. Oh. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I didn't know it was this kind of level. Damn it. I lost the block right as I shot. Something keeps driving by and shooting at me on the ground, I think. Oh, there, are you. Thank you. 
sucks. So let me shoot the big thing. Ah. Two phantasmas. What? Raven, there are two of them. Yeah. How about that? No, come on. Good lord. It's finally finished. Oh. It's finally finished. Mission objective achieved. System Gaming. switch to normal. Yeah, repair costs. Thank god that's not an issue. Oh. That's the kind of thing where you could get stuck there for hours and hours. But I just happened to squeak through on the first try. Destruction of the last prototype as well as its key operating component has been confirmed. The Raven involved in the operation will be kept under close surveillance as the abilities they displayed and accomplishing the mission could be could very well make them a potential threat in the future. Why do they have to fear their saviors? Alright. From Armored Core. Disorder? Mop up the remnants of Chrome's defeated troops. Oh yeah, the disorder units, when like, aliens busted out, and then the game just stopped. We attempted to retaliate in kind, but ultimately failed. Although we were defeated, we still had another opportunity at that time. Had it not been for that, the presence of a raven, things may have gone differently. A raven, you say? Alright. This was like, one where I want my old build. This is a special This is a special announcement to inform all Ravens of Chrome's dissolution. Their plans to conduct a military coup using new MT technology will never be realized. As for Chrome's remaining assets, all of these will be brought under Murakumo's control and kept in our possession until appropriate uses are found for them. Now that the confrontation is over, situations requiring the use of Ravens will likely diminish. Hopefully, this is a sign that mankind is moving towards a peaceful future. I'm sure it is. Until then, there is still work to be done. We'd like you to carry out a thorough investigation of the Chrome military installation where a small group of holdouts is believed to be hiding. That mech twerking. Yes. Any resistance yes, that mech is twerking. Search. You've solved the riddle. Congratulations. Now you get to learn where... The secret of you get to learn the secret of Mex Gold. Enter in target area. Deploying AC. Confused bystander. Thank you for the sub. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Seems like there's a lot going on in here.
I remember running through this level as well, I think. I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble trying to shoot everything. That music, huh? Do, 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 do. That shouldn't do it. What are we doing? We'll collect your AC when you reach the surface. Oh. Surely nothing weird's gonna happen. It's a long, pleasant ride all the way up out of these hallways. boy. Who are you, big boy? This came out of nowhere? Raven, we need your help now. Raven? Love that dude. No! Mike! Aww. Oh, I should have helped them, huh? me, man. Defense is damaged. Halting combat return to base. That is a mech warrior mech. You're right. Well, now I'm just thinking I do the tank. Well, I guess you have to kill everything. Yeah, it is tank time. It's absolutely tank time. I don't know if the tank's going to have enough ammo for all that. Guess we'll find out. This is a special and as for now that until then, eliminate any resistance. Sure would be cool if I could just fight the big boy instead of having to do the whole base first. And that'd be cool. Main system, engaging combat mode. As long as I can one-shot these, these little bipedal dudes with the grenade launcher. Okay. I think it'll be all right. Ugh, mech fights need foreplay. Well, this is quite effective. Consider me stimulated.
Oh. He's still not dead? He's still not dead. Target. Thanks, you know. Thank you for the sub. How you doing? It's good to see you. Whoa. That should do it. We'll collect your AC when you reach the surface. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a hmm. don't have an anti-missile thing. That would only buy me a couple of volleys. Yeah, I'm gonna get eaten up by the swarm missiles. I guess I have shields. Maybe between the ECM and prayer, I'll be fine. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to come back and finish that later. It seems so close. But it's probably not. <sighs> well, I'll pick it up another day and, uh, and f finish it up and then move on to the next game. Um, thanks again to Ipsos I Say for sponsoring today's stream. Give them a look if you ever want to turn a couple of minutes of free time into a couple of gift cards. Uh, hopefully you get profiled and given a lot of quizzes to do. Uh, hopefully that comes through for, for some people that signed up. But thank you for giving it a look either way. Thank you for watching in all ways. Nexus is an awesome game. The music has been so cool. I can't wait. I want to finish off those two uh, missions and and then look over all of my digital goodies. I got all the videos unlocked. That feels good. All the episode movies unlocked. All these illustrations unacquired though. Tisk tisk. That'll be cool to go through. All posters unlocked. Ugh. Oh, that's cool. Looks like I got almost all the tracks. Yeah, there's only a couple. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to take down that massive MT though. It will be mine. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. Um, I say thanks a lot because I mean it. It's awesome. I, I'm so happy that I get to share games with people and just chit chat while crushing uh, all, all manner of bizarre games. I'm gonna be back with more Armored Core tomorrow probably. Uh, and also, yeah, tomorrow's Final Fantasy XIV Raid Night. And I think that's kind of it for now. So yeah, thanks thanks very much for watching. I'll find some somewhere cozy to raid over to. Appreciate it. Hope to see you next time. And have a great night, everybody. Yeah.